All right, should we cross? Let's get it done. Sweet. We're gonna cross the river here, guys, to this island. What's up, guys? Welcome to a little fishing adventure with me, Ancient. We're gonna spend the day on this island. And we're gonna fish, we're gonna look for crawdads, we're gonna see what we can scoop up in this. We have the, uh, we have Snake Island here. <laughs> we do have to be a little careful because it's very jungly, every, very woody, and actually every year, this whole island gets covered in water. And so there are all kinds of log jams, which we'll show you in a minute. And there are, you know, things like tires and stuff like that. So we do have to watch out for snakes, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna forge across the island. We're gonna fish off both sides of it and uh, just kind of eat whatever we catch. This is, fun. this is fun. So my dad's gonna be the fisherman at first. He's gonna see what we can catch fishing. And I'm gonna flip over some rocks out in the river, see if I'll, I can catch any crawdads or helgramites or turtles, you know, any random thing we can eat. Basically, everything's on the menu today. So, yeah, let's get started. There are a lot of fish hitting the surface out here. I'm gonna go for crawdads though, guys. Got a uh, my little net here. The net is more just to hold the crawfish, um, not really to catch them. I usually just catch them with my hands. All right, so the, for the first side of the island, we got uh, four crawdads and some interesting fishing lures there. It's an old Spro frog. It's like a $9, $10 frog. And then this is like a limited edition. I think just based on how it looks, that might be Rapala. Limited edition Rapala lure. Somebody lost four crawfish. Let's go to this side of the island now. This is a pretty big island. There's a lot to explore. I have not explored down that way at all. So we'll go down there in a minute, but I'm gonna see about catching crawdads on this side.
another day. Wasn't gonna let him get away. Huh. All right, guys. There we go. Whew. I just had to take that pinch because I have so many of them getting away because they're so quick. It was like I just have to grab them any way I can. It's been a good crawdad hunt so far, though. So here's something kind of gruesome, folks. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so I dropped one of the crawdads I caught just happened to be a soft one. I dropped him in there, and look, the other crawdads have eaten him. Eaten him. <laughs> They've completely, uh, wow. Yeah, they completely just torn out his insides there. What I'm going to do is drop some leaves and some and some different greens, some seaweed and stuff in there. And hopefully that kind of quiets them down for a little bit. All right. Some successful crawfish hunting. And now, guys, this is a really, this is a really long island. Long and narrow. Although it gets wide at a couple spots, but probably close to a mile long. And uh, I've never really explored it. So what we're going to do is... Just start walking along here. I was saying earlier that we gotta watch out for snakes. You see how like, we've got these log jams and stuff here. I gotta be real careful where I walk because the water washes over this, makes all kinds of log jams. By the way, I have here this little frog gig with me. Never used a frog gig before. Cool. Nice, a nice long little frog gig there. One, two, three, four, five prongs on there. They're quite sharp. We've got like, what is this, like 10 feet long or so? A little frog gig. Cool. Who knows what we'll get. If you guys have watched my, brother chan my brother's channel, he uh, actually got a snake with his frog gig, a copperhead, and he ate it. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link to it in the description. This forest here. Pretty thick, pretty dense. I'm gonna also keep my eye out for mushrooms. Look at this big tube here. All this trash. Nothing in it. Interesting. See guys, I have these nice tall waders on. They aren't exactly stylish, but they are perfect for foraging in a dangerous habitat like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wade the other side. There's some grass over here. Oh, guys, 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 guys. There's a baby fawn. There's a baby fawn in the grass. He's so tiny. Where's mama? Something might be wrong. It's like he's laying down or something. I'm going to be watchful for Papa, because if Papa comes charging out of the forest, we're in big trouble. Oh no, something... Yeah, he's, he's shaking. Something's wrong with this little guy. Oh, are you okay, dude? Oh no, look at him. He's so tiny. He's so tiny. Hey, man. What's wrong? What's wrong? I've never seen... Where, where's Mom and Papa? Where are they, huh? Where are they? Are you okay? Something's wrong with you. Oh, he has one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, he does. Yeah, he has a gimped leg, it looks like. Something's wrong. Well, he, he got up fine, though. Oh, well, there he goes. Um, um, well, hush my mouth. Oh, you know what, guys? It's super steep. It's super steep right there. You know, I'll bet happened. Oh, I better get out of here. Yeah, oh no, he's falling down. Okay, we're out of here. Here's what we're doing. Um, so here's the situation. That's a super steep hill right there, and it looks like baby couldn't get up the hill. I'll bet if I leave, I'll bet if I leave, um, the parents come back down and help the baby. I'm wondering if I spook some deer without knowing. Mom and dad charged up that steep hill, and baby couldn't get up the steep hill. And so that's why baby was also shaken and just kind of crouched there because it was scared. That is a tiny deer. That is super cool though. I think if, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the spot and if mom and papa come back down, then they'll get their baby. But if that's like an abandoned deer, I wanna know. So we'll keep an eye, we'll come back. 
Oh, look, what the? Somebody used to have a tree house here. Maybe they still do. Well, it's kind of dilapidated, actually, and a lot of the boards are gone. It's a cool spot for a tree house. I might do that. Hey, live on a tree house. Oh, and what do we have here, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, the first mushrooms of the day. You know what? I do not recognize these little fellers, so we'll have to get the mushroom book out. But there's a possibility. Got a bunch of spiders there. Look, there's the underside of the tree house. Man, this is cool. This is cool. This is what you come out here and you just never know what you're going to find, folks. You just got to start. I've got to go snag my mushroom book and then we'll be back. That's easy to remember there. Fish on, fish on. Come on, big fella. Or little fella, whatever you are. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Come on. Come to Papa. Get him over here where it's a little shallower. Cool. Just love those river smallies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, there we go, pretty little bass, let him go catch the next one, keep it. All right guys, here we go, there he goes, there he goes, all right, let's do that again. All right my friends, before I start fishing, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to put the old drone up and scout the river first. So this is one of the first times I've ever come across a small mouth while scouting with a drone and I was curious to see how they would respond to it because some fish like trout swim away. They don't they don't let you get close at all with a the drone. They sense it coming and they're off. And right there you see he takes off but I was probably four or five feet above the water there and it's clear and it's shallow. So small mouth take a little bit to spook or at least that one did. And then I thought you know what I'm going to go check on the deer and see how the deer is doing up river here instead of walking all the way up to the end of the island that little grass patch there was was uh, where I discovered him so I get right over the grass patch and just kind of look around and I did not see him anywhere in all this stuff so we're gonna assume that the uh, mom and dad came back and got him that is a, a new fawn for sure and uh, yeah, so that's what I assumed. I actually went back way later and checked around that spot, did not see the fawn, so we'll assume that's what happened. And then right here, I see a big lone fish, and I'm like, this has to be a big trout. But as I get closer, it's not spooked. So I was like, wait a second. And then you see the sucker mouth. It's just a big sucker. So that was a little disappointing. Zoomed in on it, and I was like, yeah, that's just a sucker fish. That's not a big trout. I was kind of hoping to come across a real giant swimming around in here. There are some giant trout in this river, so Fingers crossed, we'll discover them soon. And I come across all these fish here, kind of in the slow part of the river. Was really excited at first, but then when I get closer, none of them spook or start zigzagging around. And they're pretty much all sucker fish. And the closer I got, the more I realized, yeah, they're just sucker fish or variations thereof. So in the slow parts of the river where I could see real well, in the shallow parts, a lot of suckers swimming around. And then I come across this uh, family of geese out for a morning swim. There, that was two little babies there between the parents. But the parents are making those uh, head movements there. I think uh, they're not too happy about the drone. So I didn't get close to them. Uh, didn't want to see really what would happen. I think they would have all scattered. Uh, came across a bunch of other fish here, but pretty much just sucker fish. Besides that smallmouth right at first, just tons and tons of sucker fish. And then this is cool. Guys, right when I was over my dad with the drone, this happened. Fish on, fish on. There you go. Right in the shallows, guys. Just annihilated that bait. That was so cool. Come on, big boy. Don't know how big he is, because it's a river smallie, but it's a it's a fun fighter. Yes. 
Oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll just walk him right over to the shore. Check it out. Look how dark that thing is. Beautiful. All right. Check this out, guys. Look at that fish. <laughs> Look at that. On that hard bait, Asa. Ooh, nice. Isn't that beautiful? Look how dark he is. That is gorgeous. Woo. Let's see. Oh. Nice catch. So okay, that's the, so that's the, the zero, zero there. Woo, over 16, a little over Look 16. Look at that. Inches. Oh, that's pretty. Nice. I think I'll let that one go. Okay. First one, and then we'll see, see if we can catch another one. Watch this release. There she goes. Let's see how she'll see if she can take off here. There she goes. Oh, she's gonna go down that way for now. Alrighty, my friends. Time to get back to some fishing for me. Had enough exploring for now. All right, check it. Check it out. A little rainbow trout colored spinner. Right there. Let's give it a go. There we go. Right in the riffles. I'd love a big old pig of a trout. Got him. Got him, guys. Got him. Yes. Got him. Got him. Let's see what it is, the mystery fish. That's so cool about living down here. There's so many different things, so many different varieties. I think it's a trout. It's a trout. Yes, we got him. We got a nice little rainbow trout there, ladies and gentlemen, just like I'd hoped. <laughs> All right, let's rinse them off real quick here. Just like rinse off while he's trying to get away. Look at that beautiful little trout, guys. All right. Right in the fast current there, just like I'd hoped. We're gonna eat good, we got crawdads and trout. Take a little stone and bop him real quick. There we go, we've got dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, that is fantastic. I'm just gonna set him in the cool water right there, as long as he doesn't like revive and come off or a wild animal doesn't come and grab him. I'm gonna keep fishing. Let's see if we get another one. We'll have one for me, one for my dad. And look at all these good looking riffles we have to fish still. Oh, I thought I had one the very next cast. See, you get a fish and then you get all jumpy. You get all excited and every little, I got one, I got one, I got one guys, a big one, a big one. Whoa, whoa, something just loaded on. The very next cast, the very next cast, what is it? Okay, maybe it's not that big if in the current, it burrowed down in the current and felt huge. Oh no, it's, oh yeah, it's decent. It's another trout. It's another trout. Oh, another rainbow, beautiful rainbow. Bigger than the last one though. Look at it, look at it. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Rainbow trout, big rainbow trout, look at that. Woo, guys, look at that. Look, there's the first trout. Here's number two, two and two casts, and this is a fatty. Oh, we're gonna eat good. Here we go. Look at that, guys. That is a wide, fat trout right there. Same thing, guys. What do we, two fish and two casts. That is fantastic. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I love fishing. There we go, guys. We've got dinner. Whoa, look at that, another one. A rattle trap, a white one. Boy, I am finding the lures today. Unfortunately, they're all quite old and rusted out, but uh, man, that's three in one day, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna do the old fashioned, uh, put the old stick through the mouth there. The old timer stringer. 
back before they had knickknacks and doodads for everything. Just use a stick. All right, put those right in there with the crawdads. Terrorize them for a minute. Set my fishing rod there. Let's grab an empty water bottle and the spear. Let's go back down this way and I'm gonna try to find those mushrooms and keep my eye open for anything else. Guys, this is so funny. So I took my sunglasses off for a second and you wanna see how much polarized um, matters? Look at that. That's how much matters. You guys see that smallie swimming around right down there? Yeah. Can you see him now? Look at that. Isn't this so cool? That is how much polarized lenses matter. Make sure you guys get yourself a good pair. Actually, I just have these cheap pair from Walmart that I always get. Yeah, they're like 25 bucks. They're like the Kevin Van Dam series sunglasses. You just find them in the fishing section. That is cool. I think it was right around here that I saw the mushrooms. Yep, yeah, here we are. Oh, oh wow. Look how wilted they look now. Guys, they looked fresh just a couple hours ago. That's nuts. Okay, so I don't have my mushroom identification book. Well, my phone's not loading. Kind of sketchy cell service out here, but chanterelles, I believe, are what these are called. But this is the crazy thing. They're already like wilt. They, they look, it's like the sun's beating down on them and just drying them out. Look at that though, I think that's a chanterelle. I'll have to wait till I have cell service actually before I eat this because I want to make 100% sure you don't take chances with mushrooms. But uh, already, I mean, that's crazy. These looked fresh and look, they even feel like they're drying out a little bit here. I'm no mushroom expert yet. Still have a lot of studying to do, but I'm real interested in learning it. All right guys, since I didn't catch anything to keep, the punishment is to have to get the firewood and everything ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and gather some firewood from the little stuff on up to the big stuff and have everything ready so when Ace is ready to cook, I've got him good to go. When I was a kid, this is the most fun part of the day, getting the fire going. Are you kidding me? That is a good looking fire, Pops. Got some good, uh, good coals to it. I've got a uh, frying pan here. Ladies and gentlemen, while I cook, my dad's gonna go and he's gonna do a little bit more fashion. Maybe we could add a, a small amount or something. Mm-hmm, or a trout. Do you have my spinner there if you wanna yeah, try that too? I'll take your spinner and I'll take my hard bait. All so right, sweet. All right, you have fun? Yeah, we'll cook here brought this water here. We're gonna pour this in the frying pan. All I have is one frying pan. Folks, we kept it nice and simple today. Didn't bring a lot of stuff with us. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get this water nice and hot. We're gonna boil the crawdads first and then we'll cook the trout. So check this out guys. Package from a subscriber, the Graham family from Virginia. And you know, I believe the Graham family are actually, I think you guys are members as well. Oops, this isn't from them. This is from another subscriber who's also a member. Gave me this Johnny Seafoods. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But that, that wasn't from the Graham family. Here's from the Graham family. In fact, let's open this first. Thank you guys for the nice letter. I just read it a few minutes ago when I opened the package. Guys, check this out. From Janie. I think that's Janie to ace thank you so much that is beautiful check this out nice trout there trout just like we just caught and a sun in the corner there from clara clara or clara depending on where you are in the country clara thank you so much that is beautiful and guys they sent me look at this never seen this before tiger sauce Original tiger sauce for meat, seafood, anything else that can stand up to the sweet heat. Sweet heat. I love some sweet heat. And another one. Sweet heat tiger sauce. And here's what we're going to do, folks. So 
I've got the <laughs> um, got the water boiling. I did not bring any like zatarans, shrimp, or crab boil. What they say, necessity is the mother of invention. And uh, who knows? We might decide, might discover something real good. Oh wow, it's very liquidy. Did not expect that. Okay, no, this is gonna be just fine. It's like liquid. I didn't realize that, guys. That is, looks just like how the zatarans, shrimp, and crab boil looks. This, some sweet heat crawfish. I'm actually excited about this. I didn't realize it was so liquidy. This is gonna be perfect. I thought it was like a paste or like ketchup or something like that. And we have the crawdads in here. They've been chilling for the afternoon. We'll take the seaweed and stuff out. Throw that out there. And now a lot of these folks, in fact, we'll just pour them out here. A lot of these guys aren't exactly monsters. Um, like that one's a keeper for sure, but some of these we're gonna let go. Look at him, boy, he is quick. Guys, I am shocked by how fast the crawfish are around here. He was trying to bury himself right away. In fact, we gotta rinse him off so he's not all gritty. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Gritty when we eat him. There he goes, I'm in pursuit. I'm in pursuit. He'll get tired, got him, yes. Okay, almost made his escape. Crafty little devil. I think that's boiling good enough. All right. Who gets the claw? Yeah, you're a candidate for sure. Drop him right in. You're good. This guy's fighting me. Oh, this is a fighter right here. This is a fighter. These little guys here get to go free. There you go, little friends. You're free to go. And I found a couple of cool lures. Woo oh, the soft one. We're going to be able to eat him whole. Oh, what'd you guys say? That looked done? That looks done to me. Look how bright red those guys are. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right. While we let those crawfish cool and soak up, you want to leave crawdads uh, to sit in there in the juices that you cooked them in so they can absorb, in this case, the good sweet heat of that tiger seasoning, the tiger sauce. Um, and I'm gonna fillet this trout here. I'm gonna leave the head on, just because there might be some head meat, and, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Finally showed that to you guys after all these years. That is how you clean a trout and leave the head on. Beautiful. All right, get our butter spread out evenly over the pan there. Drop one trout right in there. And I think he needs a friend. A happy little friend, right there. And just adding some of this delightful Johnny Seafood seasoning on there, sent to me by a subscriber as well. Very cool. So while I was trying to decide whether or not to eat these mushrooms, I came across this article where this guy talked about um, there's this danger look-alike look to shant chanterelle mushrooms, I think they're called, which are very good, but dangerous look-alike called a jack-o'-lantern. And I'm not of a, enough of a mushroom hunter to know if this is a jack-o'-lantern or a chanterelle. I think I'm saying that right. So we're going to have to let these go by for now until I get better at this mushroom hunting stuff. All right, folks, so the trout is sticking to the cast iron, so it looks like garbage <laughs> right now, but we know it's going to be delicious. The cast iron, things tend to stick to it way more than other pans. Oh, man. All right, my friends. Oh, my goodness. The spoils of the day. <laughs> All of your work. Good That's heavens. True. So wow. I have there some... It's kind of spread out because it's more liquidy, but there's some tiger sauce oh, if you want to dip sure. the trout in that. Otherwise, it's cooked in just like a regular um, Johnny seasoning. So. Excellent, excellent. Should we pray real quick? You bet, let's do it. I'll pray. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this food. I ask you bless it to our bodies and thank you all we've been able to enjoy creation today. Thank you for just filling the rivers with so many fish and different creatures for us to enjoy. Through Jesus I pray, amen. Amen. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna dip mine in the tiger sauce actually first bite to test it out. Some good fish son. Woo! Packs a punch. Didn't think it'd be too spicy. Let's pull out a little nugget of meat. It's not much guys. The crawfish in this particular river are a little on the small side. But I'm gonna have me a little bit of 
Just a little tiny piece there, a little tail meat. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tops. Oh, man. You get the final piece. Oh, I got to share it. Out there. Oh, doesn't that look so good? <laughs> That's just part of it. Lord, I had to cut that trout in half. He was so fat. You know, let wow. me throw the oh, butter on yeah. there. Let's do that. Yes, sir. God. All right. Mm. Yes. I'll share this with you. Man. Guys. <laughs> I'm glad fun. I brought you along. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a fun time, guys. This I hope you enjoyed time. hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the day as much as we did. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, folks. Hey, good time, as always. Mm. Thank you for taking it. All right, first crab trap away. There we go. Sweet. First one out. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another Oregon episode out here on a boat with my dad. We are crabbing in Nahilam. Nahilam, Nahalem, Nahalem Bay. I don't even remember. I think it's Nahilam Bay in Nahilam, Oregon. I say Nahalem. Let's call it Oregon. <laughs> We are crabbing today from a boat. This is a boat rental from Kelly's Marina. We'll uh, provide some information for uh, to them at the end of this video. So if you guys want to come out and do this yourself. But today we are crabbing for some Dungeness crabs. And then we're going to do a little catch and cook right on the beach. Right over there. Should be an amazing day. Let me show you what we got here. So my dad has, here's our crab trap for the day guys. We got a whole bunch and this is uh, the bait bag. A whole bunch of fish heads and fish guts and nasty things in there that crabs like to eat. This is just a simple ring. It lays down on the bottom and then uh, we wait for about 10 or 15 minutes when the crabs get in there to try to get to that bait. We just pull it up real fast and it should be full of crabs. So we're, oh, there's another one. Look at all that bait right in there. Good nasty smelling fish. I'm gonna let my dad do all the work. <laughs> Sweet. Goes down in the water there. And what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to put a GoPro on one of these crab traps and we will see what goes on down there. All right, guys, in with those two dead fish in the middle. This one has a GoPro on it. Bon voyage. And hopefully, we don't lose a $400 camera. Well guys, all four traps are out, including the GoPro one. Um, and now we just wait for about five or 10 minutes and we'll see what happens. I'm always so curious what's going on down there. Everybody has been saying, all the other uh, crabbers that we've gone by uh, today, that we asked them how good, if it's been good, and they said yes, it's been very good, so. I got it. All right, now I'm gonna. <laughs> One baby crab <laughs> for the first time. One little tiny female. I will put her back. Guys, there's a Coast Guard helicopter right there. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's in trouble. Hopefully it's just a training exercise. All right, let's get this, uh, let's check number 22. <laughs> hopefully this one will be better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it and we'll wait till we're right over top of it before I yank it up. All right, you can slow her down now. One little one. We might be too shallow. This is the only crab in the trap. I, we're gonna try putting it out there a little bit deeper. Alrighty, now it is time to check the GoPro uh, trap. See what we got. Oh, 
Oh, we got some crabs. Got a bunch of small ones, though. Yeah. All small. Huh. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna throw this GoPro one back out there. Try her again. Again, just barely. This guy's probably been caught before. Dang it. Yeah, no, he's short. Guys. So close. Oh, well. All right, guys. GoPro back down there. Three of them so close, but no cigar. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll check that trap right there. Yeah, see, look how much rope there is. I think this is pretty shallow over here. Hopefully, that doesn't make a difference. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, look, big male. Oh, that is a keeper. Guaranteed. Look at that. Oh, big male. Oh, yeah, you don't have to measure that. That's a good one. Male. Nice. Big. <laughs> That's very nice. The kind of ocean candy we came out here. Woo! Big dude. Very nice. Is that a male too? That's a male. Oh, that's, that's gonna be measure. That's gonna be close. Oh, that's gonna be close. Yep. Not even, but. Oh, he's close. Yeah, with that white one there, right there. Yeah, that white. Okay, yeah, he is. All right, sweet. So we've sweet. Got two males. Two yeah. males. Yeah, let's drop, guys. We actually held on to one of the traps, and we said, let's wait till we get, yeah. till we this start is locating. A little shallower too. Yeah, That's this is a little shallower. We said, let's wait till we locate some before we throw any more traps back out. Nice. And uh, we did. Sweet. All right, boys. After a successful, oops. Whoa, I don't, I don't know how to steer. After a successful pull of that trap. We found that when we went farther into the bay, that's when we got a couple big ones. All right. Whoa, look at that. Bunch of them. But, but, are there any keepers? I don't see, a, I don't see a lot of them. I see all small ones. That is crazy. It's like out in the deeper water, we just have all these like little, Dudes, you. Not very many, but we got a big one. A big male, hopefully. Is it? Yep, it's a yes. male. Nice. Right. Well, I can tell you right now that's big enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be <laughs> legal in Washington, too. Nice. Guys, look at that right there. Beautiful Dungeness, number four on the day. I don't know why I turned Australian. I wonder what's been going on with the underwater GoPro one. Let's go check it out. So this was hilarious to me because uh, this little crab was the first one in the trap, the little crab and the little fish there. 
and for a long time he was the only one in the trap so he basically had this big buffet all to himself for like good five minutes or so i mean can you imagine walking into like a golden corral and you're the only one there and there's all this fresh hot food laying out you're the only one in the entire restaurant you would just sit on the counter and just feast that's basically what this guy did he just jumped up on the counter and just gorged himself for a while and that little fish was getting in on the action by the way what is that fish can somebody tell me what kind of fish that is anyway that was funny and then here's here's this is amazing a seal comes over looks at even sniffs the camera check that out again comes over sniffs it so apparently the reason why uh they use rotted fish um in crab traps instead of fresh fish is because if you use fresh fish this seals will come over and they'll tear your trap up getting the fish out of there but since they use fish that's a few days old the seals don't want to have anything to do with it and uh yeah that's why it's all rotted meat the crabs don't care obviously as you can see so anyway here you see the rope is being pulled I'm about to pull it up and i always wondered do crabs take off when you start like pulling on the rope and no they do not they are totally uh, engrossed in eating uh and so they aren't even paying attention none of them take off or anything whoa a bunch of small ones. I swear this GoPro's bad luck. Good grief. Look at that guy, he's just barely a non-keeper. Boy, his life, in like a month, he's gonna be a keeper. <laughs> Big one? Yeah, big one. Oh, yes. Yo, yeah, this is the one that had the keeper last time. Guys, look, a male. Definitely. Yes. Oh, that's, yeah, we don't have to measure that one. I'll measure just for kicks. Just for the That's video. like a six and a half inch. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's legal in Washington, too. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Washington, guys, they have, uh, crabs have to be bigger than here in Oregon. Sweet. It's like number that? five. We got five crabs on the day. That is Oregon gold. All right, guys, let's check the GoPro one. See, uh, oh, <laughs> I flew right by it. <laughs> I cannot I film. You me to jump, <laughs> jump in. I cannot film and uh, and crab at the same time. Uh, but uh, steer a boat, film, and crab. But anyway, we're gonna see what's going on with this GoPro down. So at first glance, it looks like there's just a bunch of small ones, but it turns and check it out. There is a giant just dominating the pile. Looks like he's trying to keep the other ones away from it. So we had a big one in there. And then check out in the background. There's a salmon that swims by right there. That was the only salmon I ever saw in this whole thing. Uh, a girl at the marina told us that salmon fishing was pretty much done. So, but obviously there were a few still hanging around. And uh, we pulled it up and we had a big one. Deeper, yes. Oh, big one. Let's, oh, are you all right? Big one, guys. Couple of big ones. Let's hope that's a male. Let's hope it's a male. It is. It's a male? Yes, sir. <laughs> guys, that's another one we don't even have to that's measure. Oh, look, some little ones dropped in with our big ones. We'll have to get. That one's a male, too. That one might be. Guys, that's the biggest one of the day. Woo. Very, very nice. Oh, it's going to be succulent. Check it. Look, look at it. It doesn't. Yeah, that's like another seven inch. Wow. 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 That is cool. Right. Another one. I'm thinking that's going to be keeper too. I think so. I think we might be. I'm going to grab it. Oh, yeah, he's going to be a keeper. I'll tell you right now. Yes, definitely. Number seven. Woohoo! Woo! Nice job, Pops. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, guys, we have seven. Set that one down in again. Yeah, let's just set him down. Guys, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave the trap down there and we're going to go park up on the beach and we're going to cook up a little lunch and then we'll come back out here and check them one more time a nice little sandy beach Can we see a good log over here you see it so you don't see anything it might be deep enough all right i'll pull up the motor 
Yep. All right, guys. We're right up on a little sandy beach. This is amazing. What a cool day. And right in here is all of our catch and cook stuff. Crabs are really simple. This spot here, guys, a little log kind of serve as a table. All right, guys, welcome to our outdoor kitchen here. We've got all this stuff set up, a little butane thing right here. And then my dad got some seawater. That's right. It just, that's the best thing to cook them in is right in that salt water and the salinity is perfect. And the no- The crabs have been in it. So the crabs have been in exactly it, yes. Right. No flavor leaches out into the water. So we got to start this bad boy up. Beautiful. Well guys, we had, uh, we had somebody on horseback approaching. You want me to call Scott? Good afternoon. Hi, Hello. Doing well. That's pretty cool. You live around here then? What's that? You live around here? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice really day today. It is oh, nice day. If you'd like, I'll give Scott a call and... The watch pot never boils. All right, Pops, if you want to do the honor of putting the first right, we'll crab. The first one in, I'll put my wet gloves over that one. All right, go. got some boiling water, or boiling water as they say down south. You ready? Here we go. Make sure oh, it gets barely in there. fits. Oh, gotta go upside down. Get him. Yeah, you know, we have tongs. Oh, here. there we go. That would help. There you go. There you go. Barely fits in there. Guys, I upgraded my pot. Yes. Nice and uh, it actually fits Dungeness. I don't have to break them up anymore. Now, I don't think it would fit that seven and seven. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, but, but this here, <laughs> We got the smallest one. Oh, and the lid fits on too. Perfect. Look at that guy's steam is coming out of the pot. It has been 15 minutes that it's cooked. Ooh, look yeah. at that. Oh, oh, oh. That is looking amazing. Oh my. Wow. You can't get any pressure, guys. You're right on the beach. He was alive 15 minutes ago. I, I know, I know. And cooked in salt water. Should we add the other one before we I tuck think it? I better. Back? Look how much he's steamed. We're going to have to let this guy cool Definitely. for a second. All right. Let's add this one. Number two. two. He's a little lively. Let's take him. Just set him. him upside down. Feet first. There we go. Feet first on There we go. He'll curl all up. Just like a spider. There we go. There we are. Guys, you literally can't get any fresher than that. Still steaming. Still steaming from the water and cooked in the salt water that it came from. I don't know about you, Pops. I'm going straight I'm going to start, yeah, start here. That's right. I'm going to go for a claw, actually. Oh, yeah, well, that's all right. Maybe I'm going big. Should we pray? Let's pray. Amen. Amen. All God's children said amen. amen. All right. <laughs> all righty. All right, sir. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so hungry. I know hunger is the best sauce, but this is still really good. Uh, this is one of my favorite meals of the year, is fresh Dungeness crabs that we catch ourselves. I mean, I'm talking top three yeah. favorite. Oh. Mm. I better grab that other claw before you do. Mm. You see that right now. Mm. Oh, big nuggets of... Mm. I could get us some butter going if you want. I brought a little tub of butter. It's so good uh, by itself. It is so good by itself. Maybe we eat this one and then we do that on the second one. Okay, sounds good. Guys, you really don't need no. butter. It does it does Crab add a fresh. little something, but mm -hmm. it's not it's not necessary to enjoy it, that's for sure. And when I'm hungry, I don't want to wait for butter. <laughs> so that's just the way it is. So guys, I just remembered something. At the very marina where we rented our boat, the girl there showed me last year about crab oh, butter. Yes. I forgot about this, okay? So it's because it's been a year since I've been to Oregon. So you take the crab, here's the body, and you split it open. Ooh. And look at that, right in the head, there's all of that yellow stuff right in there. <laughs> it looks like, cut looks exactly like butter, actually. So we're gonna dip it in that yellow stuff there. 
Oh, I'll drink that. That's Whoa. good. Wow. Crab butter, man. It is, it's like, that's really that good. That is crazy. Guys. It like, it like increases the flavor of the crab. Mm-hmm. Like that butter. is really, really good. Is really I totally good. forgot about that. So crabs have their own butter wow. built in. That is amazing. Yeah, you could almost drink it. You could. Guys, that timer is the next crab. Is all done. Gorgeous red crab. Too much steam right in the camera. <laughs> this gorgeous red crab. Oh man, we, we were gonna heat up um, some butter for this one. We're just gonna use the cra the built-in crab butter. I totally forgot that like trick hack. Did you call it a crab hack? Crab hack. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna eat the rest of uh, the rest of the crabs later on. Yeah. Um, bring fact, those home and share them. Bring those home and share them with the family. But we get first dibs. <laughs> All right, Pop, so what are you doing here? Well, my dad always does something. That's I, yeah, you know, I like to eat crab. I, I get all the pieces and put them all in, and then, of course, now we have the butter. I just added the butter from yours. So I get, I get a bunch of pieces, and then I get to eat a bunch of it at once. Just kind of You crack and crack and crack, and then eat and eat. You don't eat right. as you crack. No, well, a little bit at first when I'm real hungry, but boy, I like to do it this way. That is cool. Right in the crab oven. We've never done that before. Guys, you can just throw all the pieces of crab right in the shell there. It's, it's like it's, butter. Uh, it, it really is like <laughs> like butter. That is so cool. This is the life. Oh, man. This <laughs> is very nice. And I'll jump in. Can you get my large butt out of here? Or is that too much? <laughs> well, maybe not. Huh? Hold on. What is going on, my friends? Welcome to South Carolina with my brother. What's up? High Adventure Videos. Check out his channel linked in the description. And today, we are going out on this bridge. We're gonna fish from it. In the salt water on the South Carolina coast. The current is absolutely ripping. But uh, we're gonna give it a go. It's kind of a blustery day, kind of cold. A cold front actually hit. So it might be a little tough out here, but uh, we're gonna give it a try anyway. Oh, look at that fish right there. Just gonna use a little uh, Carolina rig. All right, guys, first cast of the day. You're snagged, oh man. First cast of the day. You got me excited. Dang, I got excited for a brief moment there too. Fishing is just a cool sport. Look down in the dark water and hope that something finds your bait. You just never know what you're gonna see, experience for the day. Last time I was actually at this spot, a dolphin came charging like right in front of me and it ate, uh, I think it was a trout, like a speckled trout. That was so cool to see. You just never know. Big birds flying there, just cool. Just cool. Let's see if I can get something on a swim bait while my shrimp is out there. Kind of keep an eye on it. Got one. Guys, I got a big flounder. Guys, I got a big flounder on a swim bait. Bro! Bro! Oh, I don't know if I should try to haul it up. Oh, oh nice. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, he looks like he's not really hooked that well. I'm just gonna put him up on shore and then go down and get him. Oh, it's a good, oh, he just came off. He just came off, I gotta run down there. Dude, he just came off the hook, but he's in shallow water. Oh, great, of course there's a parade going by right about now. Oh my gosh. Do you see him? Is he still down there? Oh. All right, come on. Here we go. I can hear him flapping and flopping. Oh, he's still flopping. I see him. Oh, he's, he's almost getting away. There he is, there he is. There he is, right there. Do you guys see him? Oh my gosh. 
Dude! What, what happened? He got away! Uh, it was just right there! Yeah, but he was in shallow water. Did he just break off? Yeah, you know, he just threw the hook. Oh man, like, like, like he was literally there like 10 seconds ago. I was trying to drag him up on shore and then he just threw the hook came out. Ah, good grief. I've never caught a keeper flounder before. If there hadn't been a parade of cars going by. Just this little hive, a bunch of them if you want them. Oh on a yeah, swim bait. Oh man, that stinks. Whoa, dude, I think that was a flounder that just jumped on those fish right there. Dude, I tell you, I saw one the other day. He came up and like swirled. I didn't know that flounder did. I kind of thought they sat on the bottom and... Yeah. Oh, I just had one. Just had another bite. Just had another bite. Look at my bait is right down there. Come on. I need a cast net for some of these. Yeah, I'm gonna do you guys and do something real fast before I keep casting. Got my scissors here. Gonna reel this bait in. Yeah, there's no more bait on it because it got stolen. Some random fish, including a ballyhoo. Put that on a hook. Now I'm just gonna lower it down like right here so I can still cast my other stuff. But to at least have that down there. Then I'm gonna pick my swim bait back up, keep going with this, but I'll keep an eye on this. Whoa, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. Got one, guys. Why is the drag so loose on this? A piece of ballyhoo. Whoa, it's a big flounder. Big flounder on the ballyhoo. Right, I'm walking him straight to the edge this time and hauling him up on shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? On a piece of ballyhoo. No kidding. I think, is, does it look like a keeper to you? Uh, we can measure. He's going to be close. He's going to be close. He has, a, he has the hook good. I'm just going to haul him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that was... Oh, <laughs> Dude, look at that, my friends. This might be a keeper here. They have to be pretty big in South Carolina to keep. Oh, guys, they have to be 16 inches. Okay, we'll see if this guy is 16. All right. Let me close. Oh, dude, he's short. By like a quarter of an inch. Like a quarter inch. Dang it! Dang! <laughs> bro. Dude, nice catch, bro. Oh, man. Well, guys, it was fun. Fun while it lasted. Bro, there are pliers in my back pocket. Could you oh, grab yeah. them out? My biggest flounder, quarter of an inch short. Shoot. Go, it's a beautiful fish though, dude. There he goes. I thought you had it, man. I thought it, you know, that would have been a keeper last year because last year was 15. I think that's what I thought. Yeah, they yeah. just upgraded it this year, so. Dang yeah, gum. Alright guys, I'm gonna do something. Got a cast net with me. All the bait that these flounder are eating on. I'm gonna try to cast net and then get back to fishing. If we had a cast net with a really, really long handle, we just throw from the bridge, but we do not have such a cast net. Oh, I got a needlefish. Two needlefish. No, one is a ballyhoo. Got a fresh ballyhoo. Well, there's some absolutely Excellent fresh bait. This little fish is called a ballyhoo. And there's, I'm gonna throw the needlefish back. Oh, I see something. A pinfish. That's actually not what I want. We'll keep him, but that's, I want the, the little, I don't know, there's some little minnow that these flounder are really going after. If they're big enough, I think I probably got some there. Otherwise, they slip through the net. Oh, yes. Yes. They are mullet. Bunch of mullet. Sweet. 
that's what these fish have been eating on <laughs> that is all the bait we need right there folks look at all these mullet that's what they've been feasting on sweet nine ten a dozen mullet guys in one throw yes all right let's get back to fishing I got the bait one dozen in the throw and a live ballyhoo live pinfish and a live dude you got some nice ones in there right. you mind if I partake dude, grab whatever your heart desires dude I'm thinking I think it's a little one of these guys get over here yeah get, come here that little guy right there mm -hmm. I gotta do that too. here we go so I hooked him through the bottom kind of towards the anal fin because he's gonna be on the bottom and hopefully he'll like struggle to try to swim upwards that's what I've heard anyway I'll give it a go bait away oh there's a bite there's a bite on the live bait oh did I miss him no I got him I think yeah flounder another flounder he's not that big but dude that was awesome on the mullet! On the mullet! Ha! Oh, look, something's wrong with you. Dude, there's, they're in the area. He, they are. Look, he has like a chunk taken out of it. Oh, dude, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Dude, that is cool. Yeah, he look has like... Look, look how green his eyes are. Just freaking subdue him. He's a floppy fellow. Oh, he does have green eyes. What the look heck? The, what the oh, kind of flounder is this? Look at his those, green eyes. Dude! Whoa, it's like June bug eyes. Yeah, and he has are. a chunk taken out of him. Like a shark or something took a chunk or another fish. Yeah, probably a nice little 10, 11 incher. Not a keeper, but just hammered that Dude, bullet. We're on a school of flounder. This is yeah. a first for yeah. us, I think. Now, I've never been in an area like this where we're just catching flounder consistently. They're just stacked up down there. Yeah. Cool. See you, little fella. Oh, oh. Mullet's oh. <laughs> <laughs> paying off, bro. Let's do it, dude. Let's get a big one. Check this little fellow. Dude, I got one. I got one. A flounder, again. Another one. He did, wasn't even pulling. I just checked the, let's go check the bait. What the heck? That's awesome. <laughs> four, number four, this is the most flounder action I've ever seen. Those are such a cool fish. Are you kidding me? Wow. Love them. Oh, our mullet's trying to jump out. What a cool, cool fish. Very nice. Oh, belly flopped on that one. Oh, that one is the one I'm gonna use. <laughs> All right, these live mullet getting it done too. Little, let's see, one on a swim bait, one on, on a ballyhoo cut bait. Now a couple on live mullets. Guys, right, we're getting a bite. Got him. Huh? Dude. He just loaded on. Another one about Flounder City. Yeah, dude. Look, they're getting smaller. What's going on? Dude, he's blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a bite too? Yeah. Nice. That doesn't look shabby. Oh, wait, that was a redfish. Oh, was that a trout? Oh, dude. It was a huge. Oh. 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 Dude, this live bait is where it's at. Oh, a cool little fish. Oh. That, that's smaller than the last one, unfortunately. Come on, dude. We got to get that keeper, man. Whoa. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, they're still feeding down there. Oh, look, look, oh, something took it. Got him, got him. Got <gasps> Dude, what the heck? What the heck is that? Like, he just grabbed it, just grabbed it, and I still missed him. You know, I should have let him eat it for a second. In reality, like, when on hindsight, I guess I did kind of let him eat it for a second, maybe a second more. Dang it, right under. Dude, that was a good hole. <sighs> Bro, there's a lot of drama today, man. All right, fresh mullet under, under the bridge. Come on. Oh, look at it, something's chasing. Yeah, dude. dude, you got yours right in the bang zone, man. Yeah, dude, I am. 
That's where I live life. <laughs> in the bank zone. Mm. Oh, look at him. Something's, something's going on right here. Oh, big swirl. Another mullet just bit the dust. Come on, boy, let's get it going. Get them apple trees growing. There's a lot of work out there to do. <laughs> There's a lot of work to do. Oh, oh man. Whew, that was bad. Do your kids watch that? Uh, yeah, they have seen that, actually. Uh, oh, dude, more casualties over here. Seems like the bites come in flurries. Yeah. How did I know you were going to say that? Ah. You're my bro. You've <laughs> yeah. been around me a way <laughs> Oh, look. Something, something hit right there. Dude, you should drop your blind right there. What? You should drop your line right there. Every once in a while, I, st I keep seeing something hit. Right now. Oh. oh. There's something hanging out, and you're going to catch him. Yeah, like right there, the there's keeps being a swirl. Dude, I got something on the end of this rod right here. You ready? Oh yeah. Oh, big flounder, big flounder. Oh, it's a monster, dude. Oh, dude, come on. Come on, come on. No, 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 do not run. Yeah, don't, don't horse him, don't horse him, don't horse him. Oh, dude, that's gotta go 16 right there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yes! Yes! We did it! <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm put the... Dude, look at that! Are you kidding me? Yeah, Are he was the... down there. That was... I kept seeing him hit. I he was just... seeing him hit. Dude, oh yeah, I'll just lift him up into the net. Nice. Dude, that better be 16. You want to lower him in? Yes. Bring him over? Yes! Okay. Ah. Let's see, guys. Oh, boy. Let's see. Are we eating flounder or not? Oh, well, he kind of shrunk a little bit when he came up, I have to say. It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. <laughs> um, if we go across the trail, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Got to be that 16. Why did it look way bigger? All it, the looked, way it looked like easy. It looked like a 20 incher down there. That's still a big flounder, bro. That's the biggest one I ever caught. Nice. It's not quite doormat size, but uh, you can wipe a shoe on it. <laughs> All right, hey, sir. Oh, he's so right Dude, there. Dude, 17! Seven. So he, is that Right 20? there, yep. Seven. Look, set over 17, like 17 yes! and a quarter, bro. Dude, we gotta keep We gotta her. keep her My flounder. first ever. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice fish, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. All of a sudden, I lifted up and it was just like him. It was like, yeah, he just nope. ate it. Yep, he's there. When I first got that bite, when I told you, uh, all, that was him. Dude, your hunch paid off. Yes. Like, I want an assist on that one, man. Yeah, you do. Definitely, for sure. Ha! All right. There you go. <laughs> like 17 and a quarter. Woo! Bam. We waited patiently. Dude. We fought against the elements. And we won. Against all odds. <laughs> well, my friends. Mike, I was going to say we did it. Well, I kind of did it because I was the one that told you about fishing right there. You, you did. It. You really did. So I take part credit. Um, now, none of us, neither of us have any idea how to clean a flounder. So we are going to figure that out next. And uh, That's the side quest. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll uh, figure out how to cook it. All right, my friends, we're rolling down to the beach here, and we're just gonna cook on these rocks. That's a hard. I'm gonna just move that. It's like, oh wow, that's impressive. All those years at the gym are working out for you. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> that was clever. All the years at the gym were working out <laughs> for you. I like it. I'm somewhat of a wordsmith. All right, you stand there and look pretty, and I'll adjust this by myself. You the top sails there, son. <laughs> That's about as flat as it's gonna get. I was gonna say, do you we'll need more help or? <laughs> um, I could sit right here. Yeah. Yeah, no, I could sit right here and cook on this semi-flat rock. I like. What it. are you gonna do? Are you gonna fish? I'm gonna throw a line out, dude. I think so. Why not? Sounds good. Did you cook my fish up for me. <laughs> Let me know when dinner's ready. <laughs> Dude, throw, throw it right over him? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. 
guys, there, there's like a big mullet swimming. What in the heck? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's right there, right there. Dude, you just got him! <laughs> Look at that! Wow! Yeah. Oh yeah, he's like he must be sick or something, because that's so weird. He like wasn't even scared of Dude, do you want fresh cut bait? I was just about to play yeah. that. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I should just take a big bite out of him. I'm like, ah! I'm like a real he-man of the ocean right now. Uh, I don't know, what do you want to do with him? <laughs> we could cut him up for bait. I like that. Do you want him? I want him, yes. Okay. Do you want him right now for one no, of your lines? I've got bluefish. You got old him. bluefish, dude, from yesterday. You want fresh mullet. You have to have fresh mullet. That yes. bluefish has been sitting out of a cooler for like four hours now. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. I want mullet. Look, I've got the knife right here. The knife! <laughs> Throw him on the sand. Yes. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. <laughs> you got me really getting me hyped up there, bro. You want a steak? Yes, I'll take steak. Steak. Medium, fresh, <laughs> That steak sounds so good right now. Actually, that sounds good. Got a shark rod right here. Yeah, a shark rod. Okay. Yeah, dude. Oh man, that's perfect. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Let's see if we can get a little lucky while we're cooking up. Next, we got to figure out how, how to uh, how to cook up this, how to clean this fish. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Now I've got a challenge, my friends. Let's. Uh, <clears throat> All right, my friends, flounder cleaning about to, <laughs> about to commence. No guarantees on this one. Well, here's a nice flat rock for him. All right. I love those videos with long intros. Filet a flute in fi fluke in 15 seconds. I thought a fluke was like an amoeba. Fluke here, you want to start on the white side. On Stay the white good. side. Start on the white oh. side, Micah. Okay. Just get a good grip on him. Get a good grip on him. See. Push it in. Wow. All the way through, let the this guy knows over. what he's doing. Dude, it's all about his town business. Look at that. Look at look at the fillet job on that. Stomach bone here. Just keep you nice, nice, nice and nice and flat. And that's it. There's one of your fillets. What? Just one? You know, you want to make sure. Look how close he got to the bone. Nice clean fillet. Same thing. This guy's definitely from Joyzy or something, you know. Get up on your shoulder, grip. Same thing. Oh my heaven. Let the knife this man's work. a wizard with a knife. <laughs> Cut out your belly bone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cut out your belly, <laughs> belly bone. Ready for the dinner table. Oh, man. Whoa. Hmm. All right. Mm. Let's do this, boy. <clears throat> After watching a guy from Joyzy. I think he said push your knife through, right? Yeah. <clears throat> How are we oh, looking? Oh, look at it. Look, I'm close to the ribs. Oh yeah, dude, Sweet. that looks really good. Okay, really I didn't good. know how it should feel, so I was just like, kind of just with the knife along, because you're going to separate from the spine. Always cut towards yourself, boys and girls. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of red flags going on right here, right now. Side, and I bend the knife down. No oh, good heavens. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. There's just not very much. Are you calling my fish small? <laughs> no, no. It's just different than what I thought. All right, let's see, let's your, see, let's see your hand oh, work here. Look, that's pretty good. You can see the rib bones yeah. and bam. Wow, that is pretty good, bro. Well, thank you for not wasting my hard fought, hard earned fish. Did you say cut the belly button out? <laughs> Something like that? Cut the belly bone. Oh, belly bone. Yeah. There we go, sounds, belly bone gone, I think. Sounds like a pirate's name, belly bone. <laughs> belly bones. We're leveling up in real life, folks. There you go, yes. Yes. Bam! Didn't leap, leap, oh. And there's our, oh yeah. I'll just separate this, we have two fillets. There we go. We did it. <laughs> yes. That looks pretty good, bro. Well done for your first time. Wow, they don't have very much meat on them. Yeah, and you know what? The one that you watched that guy fillet was probably was like 24, 25 inches. Yeah, that was big. This was what, 17? See that seagull right there? I'm gonna make a mad dash for him if he gets any closer. I'll bet I could catch him. Bro, I think there's more meat on the dark side. Really? Than the... Uh... <laughs> Is there dark meat on the dark side? <laughs> no, I think it's the same, but it, the fillet just looks bigger. I mean, look at those. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that looks really good. Thank you. Victory, just like... 
take a bite. Just take, isn't that what you're supposed to do with your first fish you've ever eaten before? Yeah, well, it's just your fish, not mine, so you oh, can do it. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pass on that tradition for now. <laughs> All right. Getting after this seagull. You know, getting our running stance here. Do. Look at that, look, he knows oh, something. He's trying to do ah! oh, that's a fast seagull. Oh, that was a lot faster than I realized. I had good speed, good form. I got your hook back. Oh, dude, thank you. It's like 20 cents. Let me rinse it off for you. Yeah, know, yeah, thank you. You know, actually, I think that's your hook, if I'm not mistaken. Did you get yeah, I did take that out, but. Shoot, I shouldn't have said anything and just gone home with it. It's like a 30 cent hook. All right, brother, I have a confession. Uh-oh. I did not bring butter or oil. Uh-oh. But fortunately, I brought monkey sauce. So we'll just cook it monkey sauce. It's extra oily because it's made from real monkeys. So we'll get I'm by. I've got oil if you need any. You have oil in your truck? Um, See that tote that the oil was in? I was counting on you to bring oil, but I think the tote that the oil was in was left in my truck. Dude. Between the two of us, we couldn't bring any oil. Oh, any oil but, dude, this says this this will liven up the up any dish. It's made in Panama. Howler oh, monkey sauce. Oh, you make good stuff in Panama, so I'll trust it. Okay. Monkey Howler sauce for the win! <laughs> Ah. No monkey in around here. <laughs> no monkey business. Let's start. Hey, we got flame. There you go. Thank you, sir. You know, hold them right there. I'm going to um, yeah. um monkey around a little bit. <laughs> Put a little monkey sauce in there. Oh, it's watery. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Watery just with all of a sudden boss my appetite. <laughs> it's watery with chunks. I'm guessing it's gonna be nice and oily. Eh, usually that's not a good sign, watery with chunks. <laughs> all right, we'll take the fillet there and we'll just right into the monkey. <laughs> uh, we'll do two fillets and then the other two we might save them Let's for when save we have for when we yeah, have oil. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. I don't want to do this fish a disservice. Yes, especially delicious flounder. All yeah. right. <clears throat> you have a fish? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you have a crab. Maybe. In which case, we're cooking crabs and I monkey think sauce. Something on the edge. What the? What? What? Oh, it's a bass. Is that a oh, bass? Oh, it's a sea bass. I yes. think. I think. Yeah. Dude, that totally is a sea bass. Nice catch, bro. Thanks. I've never caught a sea bass before, actually. This is a first this is for me. Your personal best flounder and a, your first sea bass. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty that, little fish. That, that is really cool. That's really pretty. Dang. I thought something was hitting that rod while I was down there. Sweet. Bonus fish. Yeah. Wonder what the. They, I think those had to be like 12 inches or something yeah, like that, just like so. in the. Cool. I should have measured it, just in case, just to be sure. <laughs> Gotta see how the food is cooking. Don't want to burn my monkey fish here. Don't burn my fish! <laughs> oh, we're good. Frying up nicely. Bro, watch, this is going to be like amazing. We're going to discover something. Just throwing fish and monkey sauce. Or we might discover this is a tragedy. Can I have some chips? Do you want some chips? Get up to these. These are straight from Cape Cod. Cape Cod chips in South Carolina, nothing like it. And most of them are folded too, the best. Yeah, these are totally, these are kettle cooked. Can't beat a good kettle cooked chip. A fork for you, sir. Thank you, good sir. Ooh. I believe our monkey flounder is just about ready here. I say we a eat them. monkey em. flounder? <laughs> a monkey, a new species. I say we um try them straight out of the pan. All right, bro. Oh, man. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I forgot the oil. He should be deep fried, but um, yeah. We'll give it a go anyway. We'll give it man. a go. Yeah. Should we pray real quick? Yes. Dear Lord, thank you for this blessed day we got to spend out here together. Amen. And I ask that you would um, just bless the food to our bodies and thank you for your creation we get to enjoy. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Here we go. Here we go. Looks cooked through. Now you see that. Don't fire until you see the white of the meat. <laughs> Very flaky looking. 
Yeah, it is. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Did you get a bone? Mm hmm. Oh, shoot! Thought I cut out all the bones. Boy, the monkey sauce is spicy. Dude! That fish is really flaky. Yeah, it's super flaky. Mmm. I mean, it's good. Because we knew the fish was going to be good. Yeah. The monkey sauce is a little um, overpowering. overpowering to it. Yeah. I did not expect it to be so spicy. It's like monkey fish. Whew, I'm going to need some milk. <laughs> yeah, that's very spicy, the monkey sauce. I mean, it's fine. Right. Definitely should have been deep fried. It's passable. I mean, oh, we're... yeah. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good, uh, like, uh, the texture of the fish is delicious. Mm hmm. I can imagine cooking this up right with like butter you know seasonings mm -hmm. or frying it we'll save the other phenomenal yeah we'll save the other two no thank you though you're <laughs> thank welcome you for cooking my fish up <laughs> i need to bring you along <laughs> on more videos <laughs> well guys hope you enjoyed thank you so much for hanging out with us on this little south carolina trip boys are back together again Amen. we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, oh there we go fish on <gasps> nice oh, there we go there we go Fish on! on. Pick this one. <laughs> I gotta reel this in. What is going on, guys? Welcome to a rainy version of striper fishing. Out here today with me, Ancient, and today we're with Phil, hey, who's our fishing guide. Today we'll get to all of that in a second, and then of course we have Micah here. Check out his channel in the description. <laughs> We are striper fishing on this rainy morning on Boone Lake in Tennessee. Phil has been guiding here at Boone for how many years? Seven. Seven years? And I just met him randomly while out fishing. He was like, hey, I'll take you fishing. And so we're out here now. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So uh, I'm not going to show the bait that Phil is using because uh, he said it's a secret bait. Um, proprietary information. Propri yeah, it's exactly proprietary information. Uh, but we're trolling a, a little secret bait behind the boat, uh, searching for a jumbo striper. We're going for the biggest one. There are tons in here. We're going for the, like, the biggest ones. We've got a planer board out right there, folks. We're trolling this morning. Well, I don't know how many lines we're going to put. I think we're going to put out quite a few. Will the board, if you get hit, will you hear the it drag will release first? It. Or, oh, okay, will the board go under? Then? No. Okay. Sometimes. I mean, we may... Like that. Hold on. Here we go, fish on. What? Holy yep. cow. <laughs> wind, 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 wind. Guys, already, wind, wind. he didn't even get oh, the other... The oh, he just got off. Did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, shoot. Oh, my heavens. Keep winding, keep winding just in case, yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Barely put it in the water. That, guys, that was in the water for just a few seconds. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Nice. Take this one. All right. Hey guys, we can't have everybody at the back. Okay. Leave it. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a good one. He's way back there, see? Yeah, he's trying Everybody to get toward those, guys, he's trying to get toward those trees right quick, there. Quick, quick. Yeah. Not, not hard, but quick. Yeah, keep him out of the trees. Oh, keep going, keep going, bro. Oh, guys, he's head. That fish is headed right toward those trees. Keep Get him out of there. <laughs> yep, yep. You're good. You're almost past the trees. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Past the. All right. Nice. Nice, bro. Because he's in shallow water. Keep winding. How's it feel, bro? Feels good, bro. Okay, as he comes to the boat, I want you to back up where you're going to race at me. All right. Oh my. Oh, that's a big end. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Good grief. 
That's a fish and a half right there. Wow. That's a PB, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow, nice. dude, look at that. It's <laughs> a cow. huge striper. That is a cool. jumbo. <laughs> I'm gonna get a picture of you. Cool. Guys, I'll put a link to Phil's guide service in the description if you want to check okay, it okay. out. Get in on some of this action. Wow. I'm like, you are. Get a little That's weight on them here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Wow. 16 and a half. 17. 17, we'll call it 17, I think. Call it 19. <laughs> I'd say 21, really. I think you just go around to 20, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. Uh -huh. that, that's just a slab of a fish. Yeah. That, obviously a new personal best for me. Good grief, dude. Holy cow. 17. Wow. By the end of the day, it'll be 25. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Cool. Now, can we keep this to eat? If you want to. Yeah, so we'd like to keep one to eat, especially since it's not like a 30 pound exactly. or something like that. All right. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Striper it. steaks are Good amazing. Yeah. Sweet. We're cooking some fresh striper tonight. All right. <laughs> All right, so Phil's just bleeding it out here. Sweet. Guys, believe it or not, for this lake, that is not a, a super giant fish. Um, once you get like 25 plus, then they're considered a giant fish. What was that, is that accurate, Phil? Would you mm -hmm. say? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. There are people, guys, that on this lake, like their personal best is like uh, 42 pounds and stuff like that. So 17 pounder uh, is a nice fish for sure. We're super happy with it because we don't catch striper that much. But um, you know, there are guys like, meh. Yeah, call me when you catch a 25 pound plus. <laughs> yeah, fish streaking up there, guys. At this new spot we came to. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fish like along these cliffs here now. Spot number two. And the rain is gone, finally. Here. There's fish. You guys are just dropping down deeper. You see all the little fish there. We're just waiting, waiting for it to. That one's nervous on this side here. These will work. That's going in a circle. Got him. Mm -hmm. Yep, on the cut bait. Yes. All right, look at that, guys. This is what we've been waiting for. Wow. Yes, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been waiting. We've just been patient and uh, finally got something near the bottom. Whoa. That's a good fish. <laughs> that is a good fish. Wow, these fight so hard. It's been like a year since I've hooked up on one. About time when you guys join me in the catching category. <laughs> <laughs> wow the strength oh, oh fish on that one too oh, doubles oh came off. holy cow guys we saw a school of them on the graph and dropped our baits down and oh whoa 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 let him run let him run he's still I did not know it was that big. I thought I had like a nice hybrid on. Like, wow. Oh, wow. That's a giant. Oh my gosh. Woo! Look at that. Oh, bro. <laughs> Guys. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> ah, oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Let's see if this. My personal best oh, is my 17. Word. So, let's see if it breaks. Fish. Wow. It's been like a year almost to the day that I've caught a striper. It was. It was the seventh. Drop that down. Was it Drop the seventh? Drop the one I yeah. gave you down to the bottom. Are they still down there? Yeah, yeah. I, there are a bunch of them. Big old porky head on that fish. Good creep. 15. Uh -oh. he's, he's leaning against this one. 15. 15, exactly. Drop 15. Fifteen. What a bowl, dude. Wow. What a bowl. Wow. I decided to throw some cut bait down. And that's what got him. Because they seem to be a little bit slow. Oh, they were really slow out here. But we have the one. Do we? I don't think we need to keep another one. We should just leave, let this one go. We're going to get so many steaks off that 17 pounder. Oh, yes. This is what we came out here for, folks. Fall time. Striper fishing. There you go, big boy. 
Nice. Dude. <laughs> That's cool. There you go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Everybody want to go to the yeah, front? Yeah, I'll go to the front. We're going to sink the boat if we have too many people back here. <laughs> All right. Nice pops. <laughs> right. Thank you, Micah. I saw that. I saw the rod bend and I thought maybe it was the bottom. So did I. Was that on the bottom rig again? Yep. Look at him. Down like Oh, yeah, another striper. Oh, oh that's yeah, cool. Woo. That is so cool. Smelt, right? Okay, back up behind it. Mm -hmm. That squid gets them every time. Oh, I get them. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going next. Okay, give me slack. Oh, oh nice. Woo. So this is a small one then. This is a small one. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's nuts. I'll take a small one. It's got scales. Wow. Good grief. All right. Okay. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah, see, you got to hold them out and hide your fingers to make it look as big as possible, really. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Oh, we want to weigh him. Or you want to weigh him? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't we know. Fill you mind? Yeah. Let's weigh him up here, man. He's my personal long. best, I'll tell you that. 12-4. 12 12-4. Okay. All right. Nice. Thank you, sir. Sweet. All right. In the water. <laughs> oh, look at that. He quite still, still strong. Yep, there she goes. Like a submarine taking yeah, off yeah, into the really, deep. Oh, how fun. Thank that, you. Pull that up. <laughs> all right, we all caught one. Mm, yes, we all got one. That was cool. <laughs> how strong they are, but what you're going to do. So, what say you, bro? Oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> Oh, oh, you hate your, your bald head back there. <laughs> oh, great day. Yeah, good day. <laughs> Guys, oh, good time. Striver fishing out here, even though we only caught small ones. We're going to take one of these back home. Let's cook it up. All right, guys. Back at the house and uh, got our striper all laid out here. Mike is making me fillet his fish. Yeah, dude, I'm the guest. <laughs> All right, no, I'm actually, I'm actually excited to cut into that. I like holy fish, cow! Actually. You have to like, mm. dude, what is this? Like, what, did you bring a chainsaw to get into this thing? It's like, I did. Good it sounds like a hedge trimmer, dude. <laughs> it does. Yeah. This is a really powerful one. Like you could, you know, yeah. do some damage with it. You start trimming the verge afterwards. <laughs> yeah, let's see what. Happens. Yeah, actually, I kind of want to see. Like, could you actually? Oh yeah, not very effective. Uh, not very effective at all. Let's, Unless that's a real hardwood bush. No, I don't. I don't think. Uh, yeah, he's having some trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there, hey, we did. I it. did it. All right. Maybe we should just stick with the meat, dude. I can't believe that this, ladies and gentlemen, is still considered a small fish. That is a small fish. Oh, what almost, in the world are you doing? I almost got that bee. You're making me nervous, bro. Right. Okay, let's do this. I like this. Thing. Every man with a power tool has to do that. <laughs> so I guess I'll just start. What it do? Yeah, what, what? Oh, get away, B. Or do what you're gonna do. Like if you want some meat, go for it. There. Look at that. It's so thick. Seriously. Oh look, his cousin came in for some revenge oh, or something. We have a lot of bees. We got little in. cutter bees coming in all over the place here. Coming in hot. Dude, if we'd have kept all three of those fish, we could have fed the townspeople <laughs> today. <laughs> Good. Look at that. Look at that. My heavens! And we bled them out. The guide, Mr. Phil, bled them out. Yeah. Folks, voila! Look at the size of that meat. Good grief, dude! All we, like all we have to do really is just be like, like whoop. Yeah, and it's like, and, whoop. and we could sell that little strip right there that you just cut for about ten bucks. <laughs> we Let's should go into business. Fish. We bro. should go into business. It's fresh striper. Yeah. I guess you have to cut that bloodline out too. They say. Oh, indeed. Yeah, you definitely want everybody's, to get rid of the bloodline. Everybody's all about getting rid of the bloodline. I don't mind my fish tasting a little fishy myself, but but 
that's what all the cool kids do, so. Look at that. Dude, just gorgeous. Right. Well done, well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my friends. So in past videos, I have cooked striper on the grill and it has turned out beautifully. Then I've experimented with other ways of cooking them, deep frying them and searing them and all these other things, some off camera, some were members only videos. Um, and the best way by far is just to simply grill them. And so I've got the fillets out right here and all I'm gonna do, add some olive oil to them and a seasoning of my choice. It's really that simple, that's all they need. This fish is so tasty all by itself. I'm like Bob Ross, just gently painting my fish. Next, I'm gonna add some seasonings. I'm gonna add a little salt to each filet. Just a sprinkling. Then to half of these, I'm gonna add my Ace Videos First Cast seasoning. It is amazing. So delicious, link in the description to it. Not quite Cajun. It's inspired by Cajun, but it ended up, after the end of all the experimentation, turning into a flavor all its own. And then I have here some seasonings. This was very good. Some subscribers sent me. I used it this last summer, and uh, it was amazing. So I want to try some of this again. It's kind of a lighter, more garlic kind of based seasoning. Then I'm going to flip all of these over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Hey, bro. Hey, dog, bro. Woo. Yes, just about, we're just in time. Look just about that. ready to go on the grill. Wow. I apparently, dude, look at that. That's like, that's a tray, bro. Mm. You know, my, <laughs> you turn on the grill. I should have had the grill heating <laughs> the whole time. Fire it up there, brother. You what you doing here, bro? Adding some good mint. I thought I'd do it before it gets hot. Ah, uh, yeah, adding the oil to the grill. You know, that's a trick I learned just recently, actually. Oh, yeah? All right, we're back in business here, and uh, we're gonna add our fish. Wow, look at that. Yes. Yes. So have you seasoned both sides? Oh, yeah. Oh, both yeah. Sides. Wow, look at well, that. you were inside. I was seasoning both sides. Ah. Wow. Let me drag this last piece through all that oil and seasoning. Mm -hmm. Get them all really seasoned up. Look, at, up oh, look at that. Oh, man, dude, this is going to be a feast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa, dude, <laughs> look at that. Wow, slaying at the girl. You're like one of those, uh, what is that, Japanese Shiatsu Quasimodo people. Whoa, oh, oh, dude, that's my meat, bro. Dude, that's my fish. <clears throat> well, we will get to that later. Yes, we will. Dude. Dude, I apologize. That's I looking feel bad. <laughs> As well, you should. You know, I will. Fix it took that. me like a minute to reel that thing in. <laughs> That's looking delicious, though. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you could probably taste that through the camera. If you've had striper before, uh, if you haven't, go get your. Go find some striper. Go find some striper. Do yourself a, and your taste buds a flavor and find some striper. Look at that. Okay, a I will fix that. I, no, casualty. no, it's still good. It's still good. I will fix it. I will. Folks, just for reference, it was right down there. Now, apparently, the grill. What is that going to become like? Like uh, mashed potatoes here? <laughs> it's not fully cooked, so I can. I can. Uh... Are you molding this fish back into a fish? Oh my! I'll let him finish cooking like that. <laughs> All righty. Are we looking Should be done. Oh. Oh my heavens. Dude. Fire in the hole. Oh man, that looks really that good. Oh, looks whoa. Good. Well, we got a bed of something here. Look, what is right, this? Guys, we had a bed of rice and a bed of beans. My mom actually made that. Oh wow. And uh, Mamas are the best. Yes. So I did not make that. She she was like, I can make something that'll make, you know, to go with your fish. Wow. And she did. Thank you, mother. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, your mom's so cool. <laughs> I know. For some reason, I thought it might burn, guys, but uh, actually, no. Nay, nay. No, dude. It looks absolutely like absolute perfection. I'm always worried when I'm when I'm at the grill. Yeah, me uh, too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> flinging meat off the I grill got, and stuff. Got no like. respect around here. No respect. 
That's called flame grilled right there. Wow. Okay. Really building yeah, up. we're, we're getting. The holy cow. Juices. Go ahead and. Oh, yeah, these are too. Oh, my top. heavens. Put it on top. Yeah, pull them off, Asa. Asa! <laughs> How? What is happening? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this, is turn... fight. this is turning into. I got Call the fire oh, department! Somebody! Jump in hey. hey, you jump in! Oh, oh my goodness! Help. Man down! Oh! Oh, I got smoked right in the Oh my ball. goodness! Get out the schmores! <laughs> it's weenie roasted time, people! Careful. Hey, so take us through the steps here. What happened to create such a large <laughs> flame? Do you I have know? no idea. I'm, too much oil oh, made out. Maybe it was too much oil. Maybe you know? doubling the oil on the meat and the grill. Yeah. Could have resulted in. Large flames, yeah, licking the tops of the roofs, <laughs> rooftops here. Ah. All right, well, look at that. We got it. We got a good that that does look beautiful. Oh, and then she said, add some of this. This will make it real good. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? It is uh, some tortilla strips, oh. Texas toast. Texas tortilla strips. You just can't, you just can't beat can't. that right there. So you have a little crispy in there. Oh, my. You got and, some uh, texture. All right. Oh, my. Ah. Let's take a Let's bite. Pray. Let's pray. Oh, Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, for this food and the wonderful way you provided it, and a good day fishing. And I just appreciate this time together with my boys. In Christ's name, amen. 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 All right, John. All right. Wow. Oh. Well, man, we got the What beans. a big day. Nice. It was a big it day. It started off just like buckets of rain coming down, and then yeah. the wind picked up in the afternoon. Imagine if we had kept all three stripes. We, we would have way too much. Cheers. Cheers, gentlemen. I'm going to go. Great striper for. Oh, that's ridiculous. No, what do you guys eat? That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh, I mean, this is so good. The meaty. Mm. Guys, striper is one of the best tasting. If, if you catch striper, a lot of people just catch and release striper, you're missing out. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Missed out bigly. Mm. You know, I usually like to have tartar sauce on my fish. In fact, for me, sometimes tartar sauce is the. Mm. Or, or fish is the vehicle for tartar sauce, mm -hmm. but this here, this is good mm -hmm. all on its own. Oh man. What's going on guys? Welcome to the mountains. In the fall, about to do some trout fishing. Folks, I have found a brand new spot to fish here. In fact, a local told me about this. I was at a farmer's market, which I've been going to the farmer's market very frequently. Uh, these days making some friends there and uh this lady who loves to fish said you know where you should go you should come up to this bridge here and all it is is this little creek and this bridge crosses it and she said this is one of her favorite spots to fish so i have driven up here on this drizzly morning to try it out love fishing brand new spots but i am starving i left the house without any breakfast it was a little bit of a drive to get here. Um, so I'm gonna make some breakfast and then we'll start fishing. And then after that, who knows? Yeah, I was gonna use my little mini catch and cook setup, but I actually think I'm gonna break out the griddle here. Aha! Check that out. So I got, yes, this is good. I'm glad I brought this.
All right, my friends, after a delicious and sumptuous breakfast, come down here. At first glance, I don't see any trout, but a lot of times the fish, if they're smart, they hide out in the actual, like, dark shade of the bridge, so... Guys, I see a crawfish down here. I see a craw Let me see if I can catch him with a lure. Sometimes they'll bite a lure, especially if it has scent on it. Let's see. He got it. <laughs> he got my lure. Can I pull him up? Yes, I got him. <laughs> a crawfish. First catch of the day, folks. Check out how similar that color is. So the color of that tube is called crawfish. And look how they look exactly the like, at least on the top, not on the back, but on the top there. That is crazy. All right, set him right there. He still hasn't let go of it. I need my crawfish bag. I see it right there. I'll tell you what, folks, I have this little dive bag here. A lot of you guys have been asking about it, and it is so great. Look, he's, still, he's just trying to take off with it. He still hasn't let it go. Hey, um, a dive bag is fantastic because you can put crawdads in it or trout, so it's better than a stringer. Look at it, he still is not letting it go. Let go. Come on. Come on. Look at him, he refuses. There. Gonna tear your arm off, man. All right, first catch of the day. I'm gonna see if I can find any more down there. Guys, I see a nice trout hanging out right under here. But he doesn't seem to be very interested in my tube. So this crawfish is just a little on the small side to eat. I mean, he's, he's definitely edible, but he's a little on the small side. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to use him as bait to try to catch that nice trout. I'm going to kill him real quick. There we go. Twist off the tail. There we go, and I have that little chunk of meat there. And the real, not only is it real, but one of the things about using crawfish is the smell. And you can even smell them on your hands. And I've actually seen it before where a trout was swimming along the bottom. He wasn't interested in anything I was throwing, but I put a piece of crawdad on up, upstream of him, and immediately he started to go sniff around for it and seek it out. Oh, I see the trout. There are two of them, two nice ones. Two nice ones, folks. I mean, nice for a creek this small. Oh, they smelled it, but they swam away. Seeing these clear creeks, these trout can be real tricky sometimes. Guys, a crawfish has grabbed it. A crawfish has grabbed the bait. The trout were looking at it, and the trout's looking at the crawfish. Guys, I just caught another crawfish on a piece of crawfish, and this is an even bigger one. That is crazy. This is a big one right here. This is definitely an eater size. That is so funny. Like, he came out of the rocks to grab a chunk of his friend there. This is so crazy. I see the cr the trout down there looking at the bait. They're definitely interested. They're, they're kind of swimming all around, but it drifts to the bottom, and out pops this crawfish. And he grabs it instead. Oh, now I have a leaf. This is funny. Folks, I see another crawfish over there. This is turned, the trout won't bite, so I'm just sitting here fishing for crawdads instead. He's got it. He's got, I gotta let him take it a second. So you gotta get those crawfish. They get a taste of their friend and uh, it's so delicious that they can't let go. Okay, so he's had a good enough taste. Now I just carefully reel him in. Oh, he's swimming a little bit. He's swimming. He's on the top now. He's on the top. Can I... Oh, here comes the lift. And the lift is successful. Whoa, that's a big one. That is another eater right there. Well, the trout refused to bite, but we're catching some hefty crawdads here. That is a thick crawfish right there, folks. That is a good trade-off to use a tiny one for one that big. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
two big ones. Here's something you probably didn't know. Crawfish love bacon. Why? Because they're smart. They know what's good. Cut about, cut it in about half here. That should be a big enough piece. I want a big enough piece here so it gets the craw's attention. Like that. And let's lower that down to the bottom. See how many we can get to come out. All right, hopefully no real fishermen come along here and see me doing this. They're gonna think I'm crazy. So I have an underwater camera down there. Let's throw it down. Yeah, he can't resist the bacon. He's like me. He just can't resist the bacon. Boom, we got a first crawfish on bacon, folks. Even as I'm taking him back to the truck, he still keeps eating on it. He's suspended in the air. He's not even in his environment. And he's still chowing down. There. <laughs> I can see one coming out. The bacon's not even there. He's. He's just looking for it still. Let's drop the bacon on top of him. I've got him. Boom, another one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not just having the red bag right by me. We're just gonna load it up, load it up. These fish are straight up wanting it too. One of them dropped off, darn it. The lift? <gasps> no! I only got one! Shoot! Dang it! Yeah, there's still a bunch down there. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it again. I need to get like a double kill or a triple kill here.
I think it's a triple. The lift. Can I get triples? I got triples. Woohoo! Look at that, guys. Triple crawdad right there. <laughs> All of them. So greedy. Look, he still has it in his mouth. That is so cool. All three of them are keepers, too. Wow. This is so fun. I didn't know I would come out here and do this. That's why you just got to get out, folks. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, man. He's feisty. These are all really nice crawdads. But, you know, it makes sense. In these little trout streams, you're not exactly going to have... Uh, they don't have any enemies. I mean, there's nothing in here big enough to mess with crawfish that size. So as soon as they get past, you know, say an inch and a half or two, they're pretty much safe from any trout that lives in here. It is a beautiful fall day out here, by the way. Wow. Three. There might be this might be triples again. There are three on it. Did I, I got three more. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Who cares about trout fishing? This is this is really fun. Well my friends, I fished this bridge every way I knew how. Um, just all through this area, and I <laughs> I cannot catch a single trout in here but the crawfishing is excellent so I think I'm just gonna be content with some crawdads here and I'm gonna cook them up in a way I've never done before all right so I set my little grill back up here and let's light it up there we go set the deep pan right there I didn't eat all the bacon I had from breakfast so we're going to pick that off first. While I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm going to come over and check my fishing line again. Let's see here. Oh wow, I don't even see the bacon. Where did the bacon go? It's under, folks, it's under the bridge. Oh, there are two of them on it. Two more. Can I get doubles? Oh yeah, doubles. Oh, that's a big one. Oh wow, there is a mongo. I mean, of all of them I've been catching have been pretty nice. But this guy here, nice. Got some big claws. Look at those big meaty claws there, man. Wow, cool. Good grief, look how, guys, I don't think I've ever seen a crawdad with claws that long before. I know I have, and look how they're hooked at the end. Those are some vicious looking, like this guy right here is normal. Like that's what you normally see. What is with, this guy's got some mitts, man. I wonder what causes that. Like why his claws are as long as his body, basically. So back to the cooking. Got my bacon here. That's looking good enough. Oh man, I love bacon. And you see all that grease in the bottom, folks. That's staying. Some of you know where this is going. So I have here a whole cup of butter. And I was gonna show you guys something really cool today that colonial people used to do with butter and fish. I don't have any fish, obviously, so I'm switching plans here. And uh, I'll save that for another day. I'll save the, the cool trick that colonial people used to do. And instead, we're gonna boil the crawfish in bacon grease and butter. So I have a whole cup of butter here, just melting it down slowly and mixed with bacon grease. These are going to be the best crawfish I've ever had. Mm. Yes, I am already chowing down on the bacon. So I was debating whether or not to add anything to the butter and the bacon grease, 
But I think if the crawdads are boiled in that, there's no reason to add like a bunch of seasonings or anything. And here is the mango one going, oh, oh there he is. And look, he has one in his claw. Good grief. I don't see why these aren't gonna just like taste phenomenal. Oh wow. The smell is just delicious. Look, that crowd is splitting open at the back. That's a sign that they're done. Perfect. All of them, it's kind of splitting in the back there. Some it's obvious and some it's not. But like this one's real obvious. You see how it's like separating there. That's, oh, this is exciting. So as I'm removing the last few crawfish here, I'm wondering what should I do with this leftover butter? And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm definitely not gonna throw it out. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna turn the heat off and take this home for something. This has to be used for something else. I think this might be the best plate of crawfish I've ever made. Have to taste test it. Cause you never know, you never know with crawdads. Say a prayer real quick. What a phenomenal day. Even though the trout fishing was nothing, it was still super fun. That's why you just have to keep coming out. All right, so as I pull it apart, you know, butter is getting everywhere. I feel like I said, suck on the crawfish first, because the, the outside, of course, is coated. Yeah, you know, I stuck the whole, the whole tail in my mouth before I even need to start going. Otherwise, butter's going to drip down. Wow, that is good. That is seriously good. How sweet it is. Yeah. Oh, look how beautiful it is out here. Wow. All right. Yeah, oh, we'll bring. We'll fly your kite later. We're gonna fish for now. Yeah. Hey, there's a boat right there. Oh yeah, there is a boat. They're catching shrimp. Yeah. What is going on, guys? Welcome to a little South Carolina beach fishing episode here, hanging out with Arabella. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> she and I are uh, gonna do a little fishing, and then my brother's back there. My brother's gonna join us. And yeah, we're just gonna do a little beach fishing out on a little a family vacation. And uh, we're just gonna take a, a morning here, throw out some lines, because the tide's coming in. Got three fishing rods with me. I always travel with fishing rods. And uh, just see what we can catch from the beach. Oh, the sea looks pretty nice today. All right, folks, first thing I'm doing is putting in some uh, rod holders here. Yeah? You found something. Oh, there's some shells. Look at this. All right. Look how calm it is. Dude, look at this. is just absolutely, like, this is a beautiful day. Nobody's out. And you're like, all right, guys, let's see what happens. Yeah. You know? All right, guys, for bait, I'll show you what we got here. We just went to the marina. We got two types of bait. Got some mullet, frozen mullet. And frozen squid will probably rig up a variety. What do you think, Crockett? Look at that, that's a little, sh little squid. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Neat. <laughs> I did a Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll just cut off. Well, I think one with squid and two with mullet should be good. I might steal, do you mind if I steal a chunk of squid for the crab trap? Oh yeah, no, I don't mind. In fact, I'll just pop one out I'll of there. I'll pop one out and we'll throw it out there. See if we can. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, sir. All right. All right, folks, so we got three rods here. Now, when we have a piece of squid. That looks good. Yeah, yeah. A small piece of mullet, cut mullet on that one. And on the big one, it's a 50 pound leader, and we've got almost a whole mullet there. I've cut out the bottom so the juices could kind of flow out in the water. Hopefully, we get a shark or something on that one. So, sweet. All right, folks, just wading out here. We're gonna get to the second sandbar, because I want this one to be pretty far out there. The the kind of shark one. <laughs> or big red fish or something like that, you never know. <laughs> out there. 
Uh huh. Pretty shallow all the way out. All right, my friends, all three lines are out. We just keep an eye now. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel, that's my brother there, High Adventure Videos, and then these are his two kids and his wife. So that's everybody who's hanging out. So you'll kind of see them throughout the morning. And I have fishing rod duty, so. Oh, oh, got one. We got a fish. Oh, ho. Yeah, right by the shore. That was cool. Well, guys, we, we cast it just like a few feet from shore. Oh, it's a fish. Huh? This might be. Oh, is it a. It's a little redfish? No, it's a big. That's called a croaker. It's good Whoa. to eat. We could eat them if we want. That is the biggest one I've ever caught. No joke. Normally they're like just a six inches long or so. That wow. Cool, guys. What are you seeing? <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> guys, I caught him on a shrimp head there. That is the biggest croaker I've ever caught. Or not a shrimp head, a squid head. Sweet. Wow. Well, we could eat it if we wanted. Yeah, take a little fresh fish. I'm down. Hey, sounds good. I should say, guys, whiting. Whiting. Some people call these, I think South Carolinians call these whiting. Depends on where you are in the country. All right, we'll take the net out. Oh, there you go. You have a shell. Yeah, I think you found that shell yesterday. Uh, a whiting, bro, or croaker? Is that uh, right? white, Yeah, it depends on where you are. I think, it's, I think it's the same thing, whiting and croaker. It depends if you're in Louisiana or South Carolina, I think. There I'm you not go. mistaken. Look at that. Is that pretty, guys? Look at that. That's what, a good like 13 inches, probably? Yeah. I think it might be in the same family as the redfish. It looks kind of like it. Yeah, it I'm, not, like I'm it. not as familiar enough, but mm -hmm. that's cool. All right. Boom. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. All right. We got another fish already. Oh, hey. Come here. Come here. We couldn't even. You feel it on there? Yeah. Oh boy! Oh, right you got a fish. You still on there? I'm kind of Is he still? Can you feel him tightening? Oh, 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 oh yeah, you got one. Bring him up. Bring him. Bring him up. Look at we that. We got another one. Another one. Look, Look at, at you. This. High five. <laughs> <laughs> well, another. Wow. Whoa. Another whiting. Sweet. Is there a size limit on nope. these? And there's no, I think it's like 50 a day or something like that. Do you want to, we could like whack the head off of like something. Or we'll put them in the bucket. You yeah, want to we'll put, put them, them in the bucket? Yeah. All right. Jeez. Look at the Arabella. Look at something. that. You want to touch right. him? Oh, it's cool. Is it? Crack a touch him. <laughs> oh, all right. There you go. Sweet. All right. That looks like good cut bait yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, bite. Got him. Got him. Whoa, we got something good. Oh, yeah. Whoa, this is some. This, you want to reel this one in, bro, or you want. Oh, sure. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Guys, we're trading. I just grabbed it. We got something heavy on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's something heavy on there. Sorry for grabbing your rod, bro. <laughs> it's like my instincts. That was again right by shore, folks. This is. Oh, what? Got some weight to it. Here, oh, here, let me help. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this might be one for Papa to reel in here. Yeah. This might be. This is something different. Oh, this is. oh, I'm dying to see it. Look at that. Oh, he's feeling some drag. Oh. -ho. <laughs> is it a? I think it's a stingray. Yeah, it's a stingray. Oh, it's a big stingray too. Well, I don't know how big they can get, but oh, look at that! Sweet. Whoa! Come up this way. All right. Look at that right there. What do you think, Bella? That's pretty cool. Remember, we don't punch him, okay? Because he's got a barb right on the back of his tail, and he'll stick you with it. It hurts. Ow, ow. Then you have to go to the doctor's office. How do you get it out of him? Oh, uh, so you first of all, you grab the tail and seize him, and then um, once we have the tail under control, we flip him over like that. 
Oh, yeah. See how he's wiggling his tail? He's trying to poke you. Yeah. And then go get the pliers. Alrighty. And I'll hold the fishing rod okay. if you want. There we go. All right. Bella, you see that pokey thing right there on his tail? See right there? Yeah. That's the stinger. I don't know. That's stinger. why you don't want to touch him. All right. Good. Lift him back over. Oh, hey, oh. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Hey, oh. That was quick. He just took off before he could even. All right. Hey, Bella. Oh, dude, nice. Nice. That right by shore again. Folks, this rod is so far out there, it's almost out of line. And we haven't gotten a single bite on it. All the bites have come like we're just flipping it right there close to shore. That really tells you something. Are you gonna swim in the pool? Yeah, both of them are like, yeah. go in the pool, yeah? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Crockett. <laughs> they're going back to the pool area. Uh, we are, we're staying at a VRBO up there, and they're going back. Mike and I are gonna stay here for a little bit longer and fish. Mike has got another bite. Another bite. And remember, it's a circle hook, so you just have to pull back. I'm gonna lay into this fish. You slam back on him. Slam it. Like you're flipping the pads for bass. Getting a bite. Would you hold this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him. GoPro's in the mouth. So he's filming a video. Ready? Sorry, oh, he snapped it. Oh, no. Ah. Break off? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know what that was. That was weird. That was weird. Why is my drag all the way tight? That's it was not that way. I know I know it wasn't that way. Do you have time to put the GoPro on? Yeah, just a clean break. He snapped the leader off. I, I had no no drag whatsoever. All right, yeah, you have to, Whoa, whoa, guys. Mike's got something good. Whoa. That just took off. That just took off. I was retying. We got some stuff moving. Dude, hopefully this is not a stingray. Holy cow. If this is something like a fish fish, we got a good fish. Like maybe a bull red or something. Wow. Whoa. It's like it won't, he doesn't want to come this way. Yeah. Look at that. Like he just, Dude, just... that's a heavy thing. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the heck this is. Fishing, you don't know. Yeah, you never know. Dude, I, like she just like sucked to the bottom. Oh, that's crazy. Must be a big ray, guys. That's nuts. I want to see the size of this. Yeah, I want to see how big it is too. Guys, we can't get too close to it. Obviously, if it's a big one, it's gonna have a really big barb. So I want to see it, dude. It is just suction. Oh, yeah, 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 it came off the bottom. Like try to get her up on the. Like this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is try to. Maybe instead of straight up. Yeah, see, instead of straight up, she just drag her sideways across the bottom up toward the shallow stuff. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come. Oh, that's cool, guys. Look at that big. There we go. Hey. Oh, no. I'm going to try to... Keep her up here. Yeah, I'll try to grab the, the tail. There we go. Yeah, just keep her there. Keep her there. And I will carefully... Got her. There we go. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Wow, okay. I have to flip her over real quick. Dude, that's a big stingray. There we go, there we go. There we go, yeah. No, no you don't. No, you don't. It's such an odd fish to try to bring up. Yeah. There we go. All right. The hook is like right there. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Other oh, teeth. Try not to get bit. I got it, dude. Sorry, bro. It has, they have teeth, but. As that is a huge barb. Huge barb. Oh, oh. Loose tail. Okay, we'll just let her. I'm gonna have to flip her over here real quick here. Tail on the loosh. That's the part you have to be worried about. Yeah, look at her flicking that thing around. Yeah, she'll get you. Yeah. 
All right, helper over. <laughs> Y'all grab the tail. That's what we have to do. Yeah, oh, nice, dude. Nice. All right. Hey. That way. That Woo. Dude, nice, dude. That's the biggest one we've ever caught. Definitely. Ever. <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah. That yeah. Fun. That's fun. Dude, nice. Thanks, bro. Hey, thank you for your help. Yeah. All right, we will. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping for a big shark or something. But. Oh, dude, I was hoping so too. But then, like, yeah, when it was just like suction to the bottom, it was like, yeah, it almost reminded me when you hook like a big sturgeon, it'll just sit there. Uh huh. Like, Wait a second. All right, guys, my brother left to take some stuff back up and check on his family. So you know that's when something insane is going to happen. When I'm the only one out here, ladies and gentlemen, the line in this one just went really slack, like really, really slack. Got him, got him, got him, folks. The line just was like, oh my goodness. See, I told you something crazy would happen. Like, oh, we got a, a shark. We got a shark. Oh, oh, dang it, dang it. Look, I got a shark, folks. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Like, I'm, I swear. Man, I wish I had my phone. Oh, that is cool. A small shark. Whoa, he's a strong dude. Guys, what kind of shark is that? I'm gonna like, rinse him off. Whoa. Oh, it's strong. What kind of shark is that? Look, he has the bait in its mouth. You guys see that? Oh, that is cool. I think this is a sharp nose, guys. An Atlantic sharp nose. There are about a bajillion of them out here, so it's not a crazy, like, rare catch or anything, but that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, you wanna see him? If you want a picture with him, you can. I'll get you. What did you want a picture with? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll grab him. He's he, strong. He's gonna, he gonna haul it. He's gonna haul it. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture with. Or him. how about I set it on the ground and she gets behind yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You gotta set it on the ground. Okay. Yeah, we gotta stand right there. They're gonna get a picture. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty Thank cool. You. Oh, you're you're welcome. There. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, 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 look at that. Guys, a fishing rod. Fishing rod is going out. Whoa. 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 We got something huge. Got something huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is nuts. That thing just started. What is it? It's strong. Oh, it's, a, it's just a stingray. Oh, I thought it was something different. The way it's running. He's just laying on the bottom just like they did last time. All right, I'm going to pull him inside. This is crazy, folks. Micah left. And it's always something, something weird happens always when your fishing partner leaves and you're like, oh man, it was so awesome. What happened? And you're trying to describe it. And he's like, yeah, cool. Sounds like it was amazing. Yep, big stingray. Oh my goodness. Woo! Whoa! That was. I don't know, did you see my rod? Yeah. Almost went in the water. <laughs> Alright guys. That yep. <sighs> Can I ask you to hold my fishing rod real quick? I need two hands to, to get him off the hook. Thank you, sir. That is so typical folks. As soon as Micah leaves, like bam, bam, bam. Oh guys, we'll have to catch and cook one of these in a little bit look at that all right guys here we go stingray headed out all right my friends we are going to keep and eat this shark just looked it up it is an atlantic sharp nose and that's a good little eating size not too, they don't get super big but have some nice fillets on it but not be 
not be too much. So, ah, excellent, sweet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an action-packed morning. Good knit. Um, got a shark now to eat. I'm gonna head back to the uh, to our place up there, and let's get cooking on some shark. Kind of hard to sit back in a beach chair and fillet a shark. Uh, this wasn't well thought through, but it's what I got. Alrighty, my friends. <sighs> Only the second time ever filleting a shark, and uh, it was a little while back, like almost almost a year ago, that I filleted a shark. Maybe maybe ten months ago, but uh, let's give this a go. All right, so I'm gonna start here. You can see the gills. Actually, what I'm going to do first is let's look at the teeth here. His teeth actually, I better not stick my hand in there. He is dead, by the way. His teeth snapped the line. That's why he fell off there right on the beach. That would be super cool to make a necklace out of shark teeth from a shark that you caught yourself. All right, I'm going to go in right behind the gills here. Just make a nice little cut. Cuts pretty easily. The skin's a little bit thicker than your average fish, but it cuts... Not too bad. And then you know what folks, before we go any further, check this out. I'm gonna make some shark, shark nuggets. We're gonna fry up some shark nuggets. So I'm just gonna cut them like that. There you go, nice little chunks of meat. Bam, just like that, beautiful little pieces. Just keep working my way down here, trying not to waste any of the meat and then i've got this check it out that looks beautiful to me and we'll cut just nice chunks nice strip like that batter them up deep fried shark nugget <laughs> how about that you know what i'm gonna do here folks check it out so that is the dorsal fin right there people talk about having shark fin soup and all that like i don't know anything about that <laughs> but oh look yeah okay so you can get an idea ah there we go the, the skin is definitely a little tough. Hmm, that has me question though about the shark fin soup. Urgh. There, shark fin soup idea. So we have the dorsal fin. There's definitely some meat. You know what we'll do just for kicks since we're frying up anyway, let's keep the dorsal fin and we'll bread this up and we'll just see what happens. We might spit it out, might throw it away, but we'll, uh, we'll try frying the dorsal fin as well. You know what, while we're here, actually, so like, See how big that much the head takes up? I'm gonna see if there's any meat. Looks like there is right back here. Yeah, check it out, check out that medallion right there. I just gotta get the skin off of it. Oh, 100%, 100%, look at that chunk. That is a beautiful chunk. Okay, we're gonna do that to the other side. And then folks, none of the shark is going to waste because we're gonna try to use it for either crab bait or chum over the next few days. Sweet! Let's fry up some shark nuggets. Alrighty, my friends. We're out here on the deck and uh, Micah is grilling up something fresh here. Got some chicken. Yes, sir. Got some, some chi Got some beer can chicken. Some beer can Got chicken. some Mediterranean herb chicken. Ooh. Uh, then we've got some uh, Southern Tang barbecue sauce Jim Bean ribs going on here. Sweet. Uh, with a small hint of Kansas City inspired seasoning rub there. So mm, nice. Basically just experimenting. Yeah, yeah. And it's all, you know, you've had these before, so you know yeah. they're all good. It's all good. And I'm going to deep fry on this part of the grill, folks. You know, let's make sure it works, actually, since we are at a... Yeah, oh, look, this is Weber. Weber seasoning. It's Team Weber, bro. It's Team, Team Weber. It's Weber all the way. It is a lovely day, folks, and this spot is really nice. You guys got the beach just right there. You guys kind of see it within eye shot of the beach. It's fun to be way up here on the veranda. And we have here our shark chunks, folks. About 15 minutes ago, I put some lemon juice on them, just like let them soak in the lemon juice. And uh, we're going to open... Let's see here, how am I gonna do this? No, we're gonna leave those in there. And then folks, as far as the fish fry breading mix goes, I was debating, see how I'm doing beer batter, but I'm actually just gonna do this crispy stuff. I'm gonna make a nice pile of it there. That should, well, maybe a little bit more. That should take care of it. <laughs> 
if you hear a bunch of noise in the back, that is uh, my dad and mom playing with the grandkids downstairs and uh, in the pool. We're going to add some of my first cast seasoning to this as usual. It is delicious on everything, but folks, really the main, the main, oh, we got some drama down below but um <clears throat> anyway the really the main thing i'm looking for is this caribbean jerk buffalo wild wings i'm really excited to try this make some buffalo wild wing shark nuggets basically all right there we go hey hi hi crockett Hi! Hi! He just learned to say hi. <laughs> He's been saying hi to everybody. That is cute. And the final thing, folks, we have the fin. <laughs> we'll just toss it in there, be experimental, we'll see. Alrighty, take these over here. Set them on top of the hot grill. Not recommended. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That is hot enough. Got some balling going. Mmm. I'm excited. Shark nuggets. Oh, bro. My my compliments to the chef. Thank you, good sir. Wow. I think those are looking pretty good. I think we're gonna hit them with one more, uh, mm. more more rub down. Let it glaze over a little bit. Mm. I think that's gonna be bright as rain there. That's perfect. By the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, check out my brother's channel down in the description below. Like and subscribe, comment, share. You know all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> all that stuff that nobody in 2021 knows how to do. Yeah, exactly. Let's check on my stuff here. Oh, looking. I think it should be done. Just a few minutes in there should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, it's falling apart. Well, there's our taste test. There's our... Look, the shark is cooked through, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. Ho, oh, ho. Yes. Right, let's throw the weird shark fin in there just for kicks. And we also have that one of the whiting that uh, Arabella caught. That's a fillet of it right there. So we're going to throw that in there as well with the shark. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bella, you want to try some of the fish you caught this morning? We've got some fresh fish and we got shark. Uncle Ooh. Asa cooked up. You want to eat some shark for a YouTube video? <laughs> Hi, Crockett. Yeah. You want to eat some shark? Hi. Hi. You want to eat some shark? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there we go. All right, <laughs> it's a part. So this is something interesting, folks. When I try to grab the fin, the skin like stretches. It's definitely not tough anymore. It's so interesting. Like it's almost, the way it stretches almost seems like it's edible. Yeah, look, in fact, I just broke through it. So the skin, which was tough, I can pinch it with the tongs here and it pierces it. So like the skin has become malleable and I, I'm assuming edible. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to taste test some shark. Let's move this a little closer. Actually, we'll move you a little closer there. There we go. Yeah. And some of Bella's fish. Bella, can you say a prayer for us real quick before we start? Before we eat? Dear Lord, thank my food bus to say amen. Amen. All right. Thanks, Bella. That piece right there, that piece of fish. Is that the one you it's caught this caught. morning? Or if you want to try a little piece of shark, you can try a piece of shark. Ooh. You know, I've actually never had shark before. Here, should we cheers? We cheers. Cheers. We Thanks, all got a bro. piece of shark. Mm. You're welcome. Did you soak this in something? Lemon. No, juice. I'm picking up that lemon juice, dude. A lot of lemon juice in there. Very lemony. That's good, though. Dude, that I need like solid. some. I need some tartar sauce, like like it's a, a no. classic like fried fish. I need like some tartar sauce or coleslaw with it. That's good. It is, guys. It's it's not a whole lot different than most ocean fish. Yeah, that's what I'm trying a little Caribbean jerk. I thought Ooh, it'd be appropriate. Bella, what do you think of the shark? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty. Good. Would you eat that again? <laughs> Should we go catch some more? Yeah, I, think, I, I we got a head nod there. She's eating it all. I think she's enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. When your four year old's eating it all, you know, uh, it's a win. 
I think playing in the pool all day helps too. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's a fin, a shark fin. I'm just gonna try eating it. The skin has become soft now. It's if the skin was tough while I was flying it. Oh really? Now it's soft. That don't look right to me, but I mean it went from being like hard to poke the knife through it to mm. it just breaks apart. Mm. Dude, that's good. That's actually good. Like the fin is I'm not kidding, the fin is good. Wow. Um I would offer you some, but my mouth's been all over Dude, it. Dude, you're good, yeah. No, that's totally you're not feeling that adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> the finger of high adventure hasn't gone up that high quite yet. <laughs> wow. Who knew that the skin of the shark would be good? That's good to know. I, I would have never guessed that. I'd have you thrown did. the fin away. Yeah, you know? I, that's what I did the last time. I threw all the fins away. But guys, you can like fry up the fins. That's so interesting. By the way, Bella has mowed through her second piece of shark now. Wow. Which one is Bella's fish? No, this one right here. That's no. the fish. You remember you reeling that in you this morning? You want to try that one? Mm. Is that mm. good? I'm gonna try some. Whiting yeah. is really soft. It breaks apart as you're yeah. it. Bro, thank you, man. You this are is welcome. you caught this, of course, right as I left. No, <laughs> maybe that's what needed to happen. Not that you're <laughs> bad luck or anything. I still, I don't believe that. <laughs> but that's good. My well, first ever shark taste. I am glad you enjoy it, bro. That's, cheers. Thank you, thanks. Bella. Cheers. Cheers, Bella. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, beach fishing adventure. We'll see you in the next one. Do you say bye? Bye. Bye. What's going on, guys? Check this out. Check this out. We have a dolphin that is ch chasing around some bait. <laughs> that guy says he thinks that ran our specs off. Look, all right, here comes the dolphin again. Here's the dolphin. What is that? You were catching a few fish before he showed up? <laughs> they'll come back right there, though. Uh -huh. They'll come back right there. Yeah, they'll come back. Yeah. All right, all right. Come on, this right here is always. He's a YouTube. Hello, how are you, sir? I play with you on YouTube videos. I watch you all the time. There oh, you go. thank you. You guys got a subscriber yeah, right here. Doing? I'm making one right now. Who so. do shrimp? Sweet. Who do? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. The tsunami. The tsunami. Yeah. Shrimp? yeah. I see it. The only bad thing about them mm -hmm. is they don't hold it up. You know, they come apart. But you know what I started doing? I started putting Gorilla glue right here on the top uh -huh. where they come out and you see how this one's holding up and stuff and I didn't have it on this one and it's just torn up already. Right yeah. I see him right there. Yeah, it looks good to me. Probably the next set of rocks. That dolphin on the other side of that What is going on guys? So, we're out this morning, early first thing started cruising down the beach in the four-wheeler um, to try to find oh, oh, oh look we got a dolphin coming in dolphin coming in look at him look at him tear through the water like jaws look he's hunting he's hunting so we're cruising down the beach we're looking for a good fishing spot by seeing if there are any birds or dolphins feeding anyway I think we found a good fishing spot there are a ton of uh, I think those are mullet just jumping everywhere I'm still a little bit new to this type of fishing but uh, it's just, I mean, unbelievable morning right now. Um, we're just gonna start start fishing from the beach. All right, so we've got three of us here, folks. We've got Mr. Chris, Mr. Homer, Mr. Kirk, and we're just spreading out on the beach. I'll introduce everybody in a minute, but uh, priorities. We've got to fish first. I am so glad I woke up, if anything, just to see the sunrise. Even if I didn't fish, just that was worth it. <laughs> Look at all the fish jumping. That is so cool. You what? I you know, that's all, that's all what is that? Big old black group right here. Bitten in half, or bitten, had his tail bitten off. 
Some sort of, oh yeah, it's a big black drum. Oh, crazy. Giant dead fish. Folks, he got his tail bitten off by a shark, probably. Wow. His tail's bitten off probably by a shark, I'm guessing. His, his tail's gone. Something big, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, bl bottom half of him is missing. Oh, yeah, probably a shark. Whole bunch right on, on this point. More dolphins right there. Good. I'm good with this. Let's try it again. Let's do it. We've got porpoises out here. We got dolphins. I think those are the same thing. I don't know. Fish on. Oh, oh. I had one. Still setting the hook like I'm in a bass tournament. Need to slow it down. These speckled trout have such soft mouths. I'm not used to that. I've, I've slowed it down a little bit. Look on a little bit easier on them, but I need to go easier still. Oh, right in front of me there. That's cool. Got him. Got a fish on. No, I don't. I think he got off. Oh, yeah, I do. I think he's just small. It's just small. A little trout. Not a keeper, but... Whoa, and we got a dolphin right there. Should I feed the dolphin the trout? This trout's pretty docile. I think he's kind of happy that he's out of the water with that dolphin around. Watch this. All right, guys, let's just see. Let's just see. I mean, I'm not saying nothing, anything's going to actually happen, but when that dolphin pops up, we're going to toss this trout right in front of him. Oh. He's going that way. Maybe we won't. Okay, well, I'll just let this trout go. I thought it would be cool to kind of feed a trout to a dolphin, but uh, I don't know where he went. Now, here's a question. Are the dolphins good or are they bad? See, I was told they were bad because they scare away the fish. But like this morning... Oh, I got one. got one. It's, uh... They fish on! The way you know there are trout in the area is the dolphins are there because the dolphins are feeding on them. Oh, look at him right there. Oh, that's so cool. Man, this is amazing. I feel like I'm in SeaWorld out here. I think this is a keeper, too. Oh, look, I got two. I didn't even realize it. I've got two fish on at once. That's a first for me. Hooking up with two speckled trout at once. One little baby one and one big one. Oh, really? I don't know what a voodoo shrimp is, but... It's an uh, artificial. It's an artificial? Okay. Here we go. Oh, guys, look at all the dolphins here. Look at that. Look at, look at this. Look at this. They're just chasing everything around right here. This is amazing. This is, this is just... Got him. Oh, miss. He got off. It's funny that they have dolphins chasing them and they're still feeding. Look at that. Got him. Fish on. Ooh, feels like a decent one. You got one too? Mr. Chris has one too, guys. Doubled up here. Oh, you know, I think I, think I had two on it once again because all of a sudden it got light there, guys. And I only have this little one on. I definitely had two fish on it once again. This guy's gonna be too small. There you go. Don't get eaten, buddy. I'll bet we have like six or so around us, guys, right now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Oh, look at him. Look at him, Jason. You see the fish jumping ahead of the... Oh, he went in for the kill right there. I think he got something. <laughs> got him. Fish on. Oh, that dolphin's kind of headed right for my fish. Hopefully you don't steal it off. Another little one. I don't have a measurement on this rod. What do you think? Because I. Uh, 
little bit, a little bit shy. A little bit shy. It needs to be right above, above this. Okay. It should be all about the same. My other rod, I put a piece of, a piece of blue tape on. Mmm. Got him. Three and three. Oh, he got off. There's another one. Three and three casts, folks. There must be just a pot of them. I think these dolphins have them, have them all pushed right here. This is cool. Another little one, though. Little, really little one. This is definitely a little bait for a dolphin there. Don't get eaten, buddy. Got him. Guys, you see that four in a row, four in a row. Either I've got two on or it's a nice one. Four casts in a row and I've got a fish. Oh, this one, this one's gonna be close. Oh, I got two on, that's why it felt it. <laughs> that is cool. Thank you, sir. Do you ever have the dolphins come up and just take them right off your hook? No, I wouldn't put that past them. <laughs> he close, he's very close. Put him in there. Above it. All right, sweet. Another keeper, guys. Five in a row, guys. Five in a row. Yeah, I bet I got two on again. All of a sudden, it got way heavier. <laughs> and, oh, this is amazing. And got two again. Two and two casts. Oh, and the big one dropped off. That was definitely a keeper. It's probably 13 inches or so. Dang it. Left me with a little non-keeper. Five casts in a row, though. Can we get six casts in a row? Got dolphins behind us now. Oh, there was a bite. Come on. Got him. Six casts in a row. Six in a row and big dolphin feeding right here. Whoa. It's a little intimidating being in the water with him. If they weren't such nice creatures, I definitely wouldn't be out here. Ooh, this one's gonna be close. Oh, and he dropped off again. Dang. Well, that's six in a row. Can we make it seven in a row? Let's see. I'm casting the exact same spot, got him. Every time, seven in a row. Let's see how long we can do this. All right, so my GoPro ran out of battery, so I'm still seven for seven so far. I've uh, put a new battery in. Let's see if we can go eight for eight. I told these folks here they could join us if they wanted to. They were sitting on the golf cart watching, and I think they've taken us up on it. All right, can I go eight for eight? Got him, got him. That's eight casts in a row, eight fish. Oh, this is a good one, this is a good one. Can I get the net for this guy just so he doesn't? That's a keeper, yes. All right, we got a keeper, folks. Yeah, look, I'm barely hooked. I thought I saw it on the outside there. Woo! There we rest. That's probably the biggest one of the day for me. All right. Can we go nine for nine? Got him, nine for nine, folks. Nine for nine. <laughs> Two of them again. Oh, the little one fell off, and this one's probably too little as well. Can we go 10 for 10? Oh, right there between us. Oh, guys, I might not go 10 for 10. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> ah, nothing on that one guys well I went nine for nine that was cool guys I'm done fishing for the moment I'm gonna get my drone out and let's watch this from the air
So I want you guys to observe the amount of fish activity there is around these two fishermen. This is a couple who come down here every year for this very thing, they said. And you see a few speckled trout, you definitely see the dolphins and they're swimming around. But watch what happens as time goes on. So the fisherman at the bottom there catches a trout, dolphins hanging around. He takes it off the hook. In fact, you see it looks like a mama and a baby chill in there. I don't know if she's teaching about a hunt or not. But he throws the fish and the mama dolphin grabs it. And if you guys have fished before, you know that any fish that's been taken out of the water, when you release it, it, it takes several seconds for the fish to kind of get its bearings and realize where it is. So I think the dolphins were kind of eating these discombobulated fish that were being thrown to them. And you see right here, again, the bottom fisherman there takes it and throws it right toward the dolphin, grabs it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And like I said, I think it was a mama teaching the baby how to hunt. You see the little baby chill in there. And I wondered as I was watching this, if the mama was bringing back either dead fish or wounded fish for the baby to eat. It was so cool to see this. And then you see right there, the fish activity is increasing. We're getting bigger and bigger schools of speckled trout there. And what's happening out on the other side of the jetty is there are even more dolphins and speckled trout. And I think the dolphins were driving in schools of speckled trout closer into shore. Because we were fishing between the shore and the jetties. And you just see the fish activity increasing greatly. And after a while, check out how the dolphins are just kind of waiting. There you go, release a fish. I think she grabbed it again. So the dolphins after a while stopped hunting the schools of fish around there and just waited for the fishermen to start releasing them. This is just amazing. And the little baby there just seems to be chilling. Like I said, I wonder if the mamas were bringing food over to it, kind of like a mama bird does. And it was almost every cast they were catching. You see a third dolphin pop up there, take the fish off the hook and they were just throwing the fish out there. Again, boom, look, the dolphin was waiting for it. He hardly had to move. How much fun. Then I flew the drone over to Mr. Kirk and Mr. Chris, and you can see Mr. Kirk is reeling in a trout here, and the dolphins are right behind it, right behind the trout, but never once did they bite any of the fish we had on. It's like they knew it was hooked, and they knew that it was most likely coming toward them because we released like probably two thirds of the fish we caught. They were just undersized. And the uh, same thing here, the dolphins were just getting bolder and bolder and, uh, and waiting for, just chilling around us and waiting for the, the discombobulated fish to come in. There we go. Mr. Chris just threw in another one. The dolphin grabbed it. I mean, why hunt when you have fishermen just feeding you? And again, you see here, look at the schools of fish being driven around them. Like I said, there are way more dolphins, big pods of dolphins actually, on the other side of this jetty. And then there were the ones that were kind of, the smart ones really, that were hanging around us and just feed, feeding on the fish being thrown to them. Easy meals. And look at the dolphins going right between them there. After I look, the dolphins looking right at Mr. Kirk. Like, you got anything? Got anything else? They really got so bold with us. Look, it's just coming up right to him like, hey, uh, so what you got? What you got for me? And then it gets so bad at one point. Watch this. So Mr. Kirk is taking one off the hook and the dolphins are hanging around and he puts it in his basket. And the dolphin's looking at him like, uh, is, that, is that for me? And there's nothing. And I think the dolphin throws a fit. It's like, what the heck? Why was that not for me? <laughs> it was so cool. What an unbelievable morning. Look, there, there are even fish right here. And there's a needlefish. There's a needlefish chasing them. There's just all kinds of stuff going on out here. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's, wow. <laughs> Guys, look, that dolphin, he knows. It's like it's dinner time. Oh wait, this might be a keeper. Okay, so one of the one of them you kept, and I swear the dolphin threw a fit. He sat there, he sat there, and he just streaked off. So, and he was mad that you kept that one. Is he a keeper? Oh yeah. 
Oh, they're gonna be mad now. <laughs> Got one behind us. I saw them on the drone. There are a whole school of them just hanging out behind you too. This one might be a keeper. Now these dolphins are gonna start feeling entitled. Can I measure? I don't have a measuring on mine. Yeah. He'll keep? Uh -huh. He went over. If not, they're close enough. <laughs> I saw him on the drone. Dude, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right, guys. I, I got a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good one here. Oh, I got two of them. Mm -hmm. Two of them at once, guys. Look at that little one. Yeah, and look. he come, He's coming around for supper. Yeah, guys, we don't have to measure this one. This is a good keeper, about 14 inches or so. All right. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Guys, two keepers in two casts. There are two keepers in one cast, I mean. <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, see, you knew we had a couple fish. Then they, they do, like, tear off like they're mad. They're mad we didn't feed them. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, just like that. If you keep the fish, guys, it's like the dolphins are angry. <laughs> Got him. Right by those rocks. They're really stacked up right there. This is good, either this is two or this is another good one. Oh. oh one of them got off because all of a sudden got lighter. I'm getting keepers. Yeah, it's like the bigger ones are hiding in the rocks. Boy, this is cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why they're big. Got one, two. Guys, it is it's almost every cast. On the back side of these rocks, it's good. Y'all should start a guide service, fishing with dolphins. You could you could charge big time. <laughs> look at look at that. We got a little one here. All right, let's see what. Uh, see, look him, look at him right there, guys. You see him? Just right there. All right, we'll give him to you. Yeah, we'll give him. This is a little one. You want him? There are tons of fish around here, but he's like, I don't want to chase mine anymore. Y'all just feed me, okay? All right, guys, let's do it. You gonna swim over and grab it? I don't think he did. That fish may have that fish may have uh, been a little too sneaky for him. That fish was pretty lively. Got him. That's another good one. They're like the, all the big ones, I swear, right by the rocks there. Oh, he just spit up something. Spit up a minnow. Another keeper, guys. Oh, you got two? Mr. Chris has two. Look at this guy. He's like, uh, is that one for me? Or... Yeah, I see. He's, I can see his eye rotate down and look at me. He's like, checking it out. That is funny. <laughs> you ever had that happen before? Uh, no, sir. This is everything that's gone on today is new, new for me. <laughs> got him, <laughs> right by me, guys. Oh, I got doubles, and here comes Flipper. Yeah, Flipper, I got something for you. Look at him; he's just hanging right there. You guys see that? All right, all right. All right, we'll get this little one off here. On the, oh, the little one on the bottom got off. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, here you, hey, here you go. He, he got it. Look at, look, at, he threw it in the air. Did you see that? He threw the fish in the air. <laughs> that is crazy. Hey, you. Wow. This is better. Seriously, you guys could have guided fishing with dolphins tours. 
You could charge like a thousand bucks and people would pay it. Got a fish on, guys. Let's see what size it is. Feels pretty small. Oh, he's close. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Wait, there it goes, there it goes. Right there. <laughs> I think that the dolphin ate it as, I, as it was swimming away. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you could have Louisiana wild dolphin guided fishing tours. You're, ju you're just part of nature. We don't have them in cages. We don't have them trained. Hey, stop scaring me. Every once in a while they scare you because they come up so close. What the? <laughs> oh, he's excited. He sees he got one. Chill. Chill, buddy. Yeah, he sees you have one. Yep, yep, that's that's exactly what he was waiting for. You threw it almost right in his face. He just had to <laughs> open his mouth and grab it. Well guys, we are headed back. This was uh this was incredible, incredible time out here. And what a catch. It's gonna be tasty. All right guys, we're at a little supermarket here. I'm gonna go inside and buy some authentic Louisiana seasonings and stuff for this fish so I can use it for this cook part, also so I can take a little piece of Louisiana home. So, let's see what they have. Hello, how are you? Good, good. What do we want? Ooh, spicy. Huh. Wow. Look at all this. things but I want some wowie sauce I love this sauce you know I've never tried frying dill slices let's give it a go alrighty my friends so I'm gonna grab a few of these specimens out of here appreciate you being my guide today mr. Homer those from Mm. We're gonna fillet up a few right now, right this afternoon, and cook them up Louisiana style. Excellent, six. That should be perfect. All right. Do no more. It's been a long time since I've used one of these. Probably the last time I used one of these is actually when I came here. That knife is pretty slick. I like that. Cut out this little bit of stuff there. Something like that. That's it, right there. Excellent, appreciate it. Ooh, I got all the nice stuff here, guys. Whew, let me tell you folks, that thing got this done in a hurry. That's nice. I would carry one of these around more, but uh, kind of hard to carry one of these around on a hiking trip in the mountains. All right, so we're not having a big fish fry this afternoon. This is just gonna be the sample, and then the bigger fish fry will come later when more people come, friends and family and stuff like that. But for right now, I'm gonna try to make a kind of a genuine Louisiana meal here. So we'll see how it goes. I've actually never seen this kind of Louisiana kitchen fish fry. Um, just says season to taste on it. So apparently this is mostly just like flour and cornmeal, I guess. I'm gonna add some salt first because it said it has no added salt. But Tony Sasher's straight out of Baton Rouge seasoning, Creole seasoning. We're gonna add a, quite a bit of that to it. 
Nice. Mix it around a little bit there. I think it needs some more. There we go, that should be good. We're also gonna make some fried pickles too. So that should be delicious. Eventually just had to do the fingers, you know, get down with it, but there you go, nice little pile of fish. Then check this out. Mr. Homer got me all hooked up with his nifty little fryer here with fresh oil in it. And I just set it like that. It catches the cage. It's like a miniature restaurant style deep fryer. And we're just gonna set all those in there. We just lower the basket right in there. And oops, maybe I overfilled it. Oops, my first time using this thing, so this particular one. I've used one of these before, but not. And we'll let these cook for like, I don't know, six minutes or something like that. In the meantime, let's bread the pickles. How are we looking? Ho 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 looking mighty fine i would say that's done oh can i do it folks there we go oh hey there we go pile of fish done oh you almost escaped there little fella oh that looks and smells so good all right let's put a couple pickles in there yeah this is the first time i've ever deep fried pickle spears instead of pickle chips and i thought this should be this should be just as good have a long Nice spear like that. Put the lid on. Mm. What do you think, Shushu? -shoo? What do you think? Do you like? Does that smell good? I'll share some with you in a minute. I'll let it cool down first. I think Shushu, -shoo, though, kind of eats everything. You're not picky, are you? You're not picky at all, huh? Yeah, you're not picky. Oh, you remember me? Yeah, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah. This is as big as Shushu's gonna get. Every year I come here, he's the same size. Little miniature dog. Little sweetie too. Yeah, you're a sweetie. Everybody loves you, don't, don't they? And finally, the fried pickles. Those, those look amazing. Mmm. <laughs> All right, guys, two things to keep in mind. First of all, this is just a sampling. Uh, we figured that today we caught upwards of 50 keeper fish, and we'll have a big fish fry, but of course, there'll be a whole bunch of people there, and a lot of people don't want to be on camera and all that, so they were nice enough. They said, why don't you fry up a few, few fresh from the ocean? So I did that. The second thing I'm gonna do is, last time I came here, a lot of people said, how does uh, speckled trout compare with rainbow trout, which is what I'm used to eating, and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna, it's been you know a year since I've had speckled trout, so I'm gonna sample some of this and give you guys an honest opinion whether I like speckled trout or rainbow trout better. Let's pray. All right, which is better? And I'll, I'll be honest, because I know, I mean, you guys, I've, <laughs> I've eaten hundreds of rainbow trout before, but if this is better, I'll let y'all know. Mm. I also got here some Wowie dipping sauce. Put a sampling of that right on the fish. Mmm. Mmm. Wowie. That's good. Here's the thing, folks. They're both so different. It doesn't even taste like trout. It's so different. There's really no comparison. Rainbow trout, especially when you catch them in the mountains, have such a unique flavor to them. And speckled trout in the ocean totally opposite i'm not going to say whether i like one over the other because they're, they're kind of in two totally different categories fried pickles fried pickles are good mm. they're really good with wowie let's see if shushu wants some all right shushu do you like my cooking you like my cooking oh he's licking it he's licking it just drop it on the ground. How'd I do? How'd I do? No? You know, let's try something. 
Ms. Belinda was telling me he doesn't like stuff with crust on it. All right, here's a piece with, with most of the crust taken off. You like that? Hey! I'll try not to take that one personally. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this epic day of fishing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.